Almost done and finished. Julia, your dinner's ready. Hey, Chef PB, do you like my drawing? It's a T-Rex trying to drink a soda, but his arms are so short it can't reach his mouth, so he's angry. <laughs> Isn't that funny? What? Chef PB? Chef PB? You didn't talk about my drawing. Julia, I don't care. He's a fool. <sighs> Who's, oh, it must be my friends at the door. Uh, hello? Hey, Julia. Hey, guys, what are you doing here? Well, we just figured we'd come over and hang out. Yeah, and eat your food, because, you know, I'm poor, and I don't have any food at my house. Well, you're in luck, Joseph, because Chef Baby made corn dogs for dinner, and I hate corn dogs, so you can eat them. Yes! Yes! Oh, I love corn dogs! Woo! Let's go! Oh, yes, all for me, Cody! All for me! Let's go! Corn dogs! Corn dogs! Okay, okay, jeez! Yeah, 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 Joseph, just calm down. You can eat them. Come on. Oh, corn dogs! All right, Joseph, there's the corn dog. Oh, dude, I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten in weeks! <laughs> Whoa, Junior, so you've been doing some coloring. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of coloring. It's a lot of hard work. And I also see you got out the 120 pack of crayons. Jeez, leave some panties for the rest of us. Well, you know I gotta flex on these haters, Cody. Do you like my drawing? It's a T-Rex trying to drink some soda, but his arms are so short, he'll never be able to drink it. <laughs> yeah, cool drawing. Yeah, and I also drew this. It's you and Chef Pee-Pee. Whoa, pitching a tan alert. You been drawing my dreams again, Junior? Yeah, it just came to me. I don't know what inspired me to do that. Uh, do you mind if I borrow this for a minute? Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Joseph, you already done eating? Oh, yeah, dude. I want more. I need more, dude. Oh. Hey, Chef Pee-Pee. What do you want, Cody? This could be us, but you playing. Ew, Cody, get that out of my face. I don't want to see that. <laughs> That's what you're going to say later tonight. Look, look, Cody, if you don't get that out of my face, I swear to God, I will shove this spatula so far up your butt. <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time. Get out of here, Cody! Okay, call me. So he showed Chef Pee-Pee the drawing. And? He was into it. I knew he would be! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I also drew this monster truck. <gasps> Who is that? Wow! She's perfect! Oh yeah, that drawing? That's just a drawing of some bimbo I made. I'll be honest, you could have done a lot better. Bigger cans? Bigger cans. Hey, hey, watch your mouth, dude! She's the perfect woman! Joseph, it's just a drawing! No, she's more than that! Look at that beautiful hair and, and her body. Oh, I want to marry her. Joseph, you can't marry a drawing. Yes, I can! But Joseph, you sound crazy. No, I don't! Look, look, we don't have to hear this. Come on, baby, let's go. What? It, Cody, is Joseph in love with my drawing? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I mean, it kind of makes sense if you think about it. Joseph doesn't have any friends or family, so it makes sense that he would fall in love with an inanimate object. <laughs> what a weirdo, right? Yeah, that is weird. Let, let's go check on him. All right, come on, Ken. Let's go check on the weirdo. Wow, you're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Oh, I love your hair. And it matches your beautiful outfit, too. Oh, Joseph. So pathetic. Yeah. Hey, dude, do you know her name? What, her name? Yeah, her name. Uh, Cody, do we know her name? It's uh, uh, a Crayola uh, draw, draw, paper, draw, paper, 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 page, 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 page. <laughs> it's Paige. Paige? Oh, that's the beautifulest name I've ever heard. Yeah, you would have said that with any name we gave you. Hey, hey, dude, I need your advice. Oh, well, what is it? Look, I really like this girl. I want her to be my girlfriend, but I don't want to be turned down. Well, well, the, well, think about this, Joseph. The worst she can say is no. Well, you're right, dude. <laughs> the worst she can say is nothing because she's a piece of paper. I'm trying to give him confidence. Um... Hey, Paige, I really like you, and I want you to be my girlfriend, so would you be my girlfriend, please? Take your time. <laughs> yes. <gasps> she said yes, dude! Oh, she said yes! Oh, she said yes! I got a girlfriend, I got a girlfriend before you and before you, loser! Well, I have a boyfriend. Ah, uh, he's just a dog. Well, yours is just a piece of paper. Hey, 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 watch your mouth, okay, before I punch you in your mouth. What, what are you gonna do, give me a paper cut? Oh, guys, 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 calm down. Joseph, look, date your stupid drawing. Hey, 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 her name's Paige. And, and you date your stupid G.I. Joe. Well, it's not a G.I. Joe, it's a Barbie. It's a different brand. Okay, so look, you go your separate ways and like your own little inanimate object thing. Whatever, dude. Me and Paige are gonna go on a walk in the park. Yeah, well, we'll make sure the wind doesn't blow her away. Oh, Co Shut up, dude! Oh, Cody, stop it. Well, you can fold her into a paper airplane. How about that? Oh, no, Cody, Cody, stop it. Well, make sure she doesn't get wet. She'll disintegrate. Co Cody, Cody, look, look, kiss Ken. Okay. So, Cody, do you think Joseph and Paige are having a good time at the park? Junior, don't call it by its name. You're just encouraging him. Then what am I supposed to call it? Call it what it is, a piece of paper. <sighs> Fine. Do you think Joseph and piece of paper are having a good time at the park? I don't know. What's up, losers? Uh, hey, Joseph, uh, how was your time at the park? Oh, it was so wonderful. The birds were chirping, there were squirrels singing, reindeer prancing, and man, there were clouds in the form of a heart. I'm gonna barf. Oh, dude. Wait, hold on, baby. I'll be right back. Guys. I think she's the one. You think she's the one? Yeah, she's the one! What, out of all the other crayon drawings of girls? Exactly, dude. And I think I need to marry her. I want to ask her to marry me, dude. What, what, you're going to propose? Yeah, dude! 
You can't marry a piece of paper, Joseph. Shut up, dude. Look, I want you guys to help me find a ring. Well, I can draw one for you. Wait, you would do that for me? Yeah, let me go get my 120 pack. Oh man, thanks, dude. Joseph, you realize this is insane, right? I know, it's pretty crazy. One day you're a player, and the next day you're trying to get tied down like a ball and chain. <laughs> crazy. All right, Joseph, here's the ring. Dude, look at the size of that rock! Yeah, look at it. Must have taken literally seconds to draw. Oh, man, it looks like Kim Kardashian's ring. Yeah, it's worth millions in crayon world. Dude, do you think she's gonna like it? I think she's gonna love it, Joseph. Yeah, I already know what face she's gonna make. All right, dude, wish me luck. Hey, Paige, uh, I have a question to ask you. Look, I, I know we just met yesterday, but... Uh, there's no other girl like you! Give me a few crayons and I can make one. Shut up, Cody. Look, I don't have much. I don't have a house. I don't have a family. I don't have friends. Okay, well who gave you that ring then, champ? Look, but none of that matters. As long as I have you, I'm happy, okay? So will you marry me, Paige? Take your time. Yes! <laughs> she said yes, guys! Whoa, she said yes! Junior, why did you do that? You're just encouraging him. But look how happy he is! <laughs> so, uh, when's the wedding, Joseph? Oh, the wedding's right now, dude! Oh, right now? <laughs> well, let's go to the wedding, Cody! Uh, thanks for drawing this tuxedo for me, bro. Don't mention it, Joseph. I also drew her a wedding dress. Oh, man, she looks so beautiful! Thanks, dude! Alright, you ready to walk down there? Honestly, I'm a little nervous, dude. Joseph, don't be nervous now. Don't get cold feet. Look, it's your big day. It's all about you. <sighs> You're right, Junior. Let's go. All right. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. All right, we're gathered here today to celebrate the gathering of Joseph and Paige. Joseph, do you take Paige to be your lawfully wedded piece of paper? Oh, yes, I do. I do, I do. All right, and Paige, do you take Joseph to be your husband? Take your time. Yes. Oh, and she said yes, guys! Yeah, so if anyone objects to this wedding, speak now or forever hold your peace. I object because this whole thing is stupid. Shut up, Cody. Okay, I just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page. All right, Joseph, you can now kiss the pieces of paper. <laughs> okay! <laughs> oh, yeah, you're now married. Well, yay! So what are you going to do now, Joseph? Oh, it's time for the honeymoon! Okay! So, Cody, how do you think their honeymoon's going? Junior, at this point, I don't even care. Hey, <laughs> what's up, guy? Uh, hey, Joseph, what did you and Paige do for your honeymoon? Oh, <laughs> what didn't we do? <laughs> oh, Joseph. Wait, wait, why are there holes in the paper? <laughs> did you poke her with a pencil? <laughs> wait, why is there a Band-Aid down there? <laughs> Let's just say uh, I got a real good paper cut. <laughs> wait, why is there a hole by her mouth? <laughs> Let's say... Hey, uh, she must have went to college because she got some good brain. <laughs> what, good brain? Yeah, good top. Good top? Mm -hmm, yeah, good top, good top. Uh, hair so strong, it's stronger than construction paper. <laughs> Junior, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, sure, Cody, what's up? <laughs> Junior, do you know what he did to that piece of paper? Uh, kissed it? No, Junior, he... This has gone too far. Yeah, I think so, too. Well, what are we going to do? We need to get rid of that piece of paper. I mean, I can shred it. Well, no, but Junior, he's insane. He'll kill us. I mean, j just look at him. <laughs> yeah, he's insane. Yeah, we, we, we can't shred that. Well, what are we going to do? Okay, um, uh, well, we have to make him hate that piece of paper. So what we could do is uh, I can draw another girl that's a lot prettier, and then he'll leave that piece of paper for another piece of paper. But then, Junior, we're just going to have the same problem all over again. Well, what do you think we should do? Um, ooh, I have an idea. How about you just draw on that girl to make her look like she's pregnant, and then when Joseph finds out he's gonna be a father, he'll leave like most dads do. Oh, good thinking, Cody. Yeah, dads leave when they find out they're gonna have a kid. Yeah. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna distract him, all right? Okay. Uh, hey, Joseph. Huh? Uh, can you go ask Chef PB to make me a drink? Dude, why don't you get it yourself? Because if you ask for it, then uh, you get a drink too, and I know you don't get to eat that often, so I'm just looking out for you. Okay, then. I, I guess I'll go and get one. I'll uh, be right back, babe. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, she's coming on to me. Oh, hey, 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 watch it. Oh, uh, okay. All right, all right, I'm gonna draw on her. <clears throat> all right, Cody, does that look good? Yeah. All right, dude, I got the drinks. Uh, hey, Joseph, while you were gone, Paige told us something. Wait, she did? Wait, did she tell you how I folded her over hamburger style? <laughs> uh, yes, but she also told us that she's pregnant. <gasps> what? Yeah, she's pregnant. Look at that big belly. She's pregnant with twins. <gasps> twins? 
Yes. Yeah, you're gonna have two kids. You're gonna be a father. So what are you gonna do, Joseph? Are you gonna leave like most fathers do? <laughs> no, I can't leave. I can't be another stereotype. What? I'm gonna stay and take care of my two twin babies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cody, you, you didn't say this. Oh, I love you, baby. I, I didn't expect this. Uh, well, you were supposed to leave. I'm gonna be a daddy. <laughs> what do we do, Cody? Oh, oh, okay, I have an idea. How about you draw the kids and you make them not look like Joseph so he thinks she cheated on him? <gasps> That's a good idea, Cody. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, uh, Joseph, oh no, she's going into labor. What? what? Already? Yeah, they're, they're, they're preemies. They're premature. Uh, look, look, she's screaming. Ah! Oh no, baby, why? Hey, yo, I'll call a doctor. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta lay her down. Uh, call a doctor. Call a doctor! Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, I need your help. My wife is in labor. I gave her the D-section and now she needs a C-section. Uh, okay, but uh, where, where's the wife? She's right here. What, the drawing? Yes! Yeah, the drawing. What is this? What's going on? Is this a prank? Where are the cameras? Oh, look, look, there's no cameras. It's not a prank. Well, I mean, there's a camera right there, but it's not a prank. Look, my friend married this piece of paper. You, you see the ring? Yeah. And he got her pregnant. Oh, is that what the holes are about? I think yes. so. Yeah, I think so. Ew. A anyway, so look, I just need you to help deliver the babies. Uh, okay, uh, do you have a crayon so I can draw them? Uh, well, I mean, I'm going to be drawing them. I just need you to act like you're delivering them. Uh, all right. Uh, push. Yeah, just push. Come on, Paige. You got it, Paige. Keep pushing. <sighs> just breathe, baby. Just, just push. I, I, I think I think I see a head. Uh, maybe it's a head. It could be a head. Is it? Is it an apple? Could be an apple. Uh, it's a head. It's, it's, oh, it's a, it's a it's a head. I do see a head. You see a head? I think so. Man, I suck at Pictionary. What? Yeah. All right, Joseph. You are now the proud owner of this picture of two really cool looking baby boys. Oh my God, guys! I'm a father. I really am a dad. Now. Oh, wait, Joseph, 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 those kids look nothing like you. Wait, what are you talking about, dude? Doctor, did those kids look like Joseph? Wait, were you trying to draw him? Because they don't look anything like him. Well, it looks just like me. Both of my kids look like me. Wait, what are wait, you wait, talking are, about? Are you sure, Joseph? Are yeah. you sure? Are you sure your wife didn't cheat on you with CJ Cool Pants? What? CJ Cool Pants? Yeah, it looks like she cheated on you with CJ Cool Pants. My wife would not cheat on me with a CJ Cool Pants. All right, Joseph. Well, look, look, look at the facts. They're both wearing red hats, and CJ Cool Pants wears a red hat. They both both have sunglasses. He's wearing sunglasses. No way! And they both had that ridiculous smile. Look at his ridiculous smile. No, it can't be! <laughs> yeah, she cheated on you with CJ Cool Pants. Did you cheat on me, Paige? Be honest. Yes. <laughs> no, I can't believe it! I'm sorry, Joseph. <laughs> so, uh, are we are we done here? Uh, yeah, we're done here. Oh, cool. Um, can I can I can I take this drawing with me? Yeah. Hot. Cody, you think he's gonna be okay? I don't know, Junior. I'm gonna go check on him. Okay. I admit it, another hoe got me finished. Broke my heart. Oh no, she did it. Oh, Joseph, are you singing Juice World? <laughs> yes, because these girls are all the same. Well, no, they're not, Joseph. <laughs> that was just one crayon drawing of a girl you messed she with. She cheated on me, though, bro. Well, that doesn't mean that all crayon drawings are going to cheat on you. Yes, they are. Well, Joseph, look, 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 look. You're only 10 years old. There's plenty of time to settle down with a drawing. And look, maybe you'll move on to colored pencil drawings. Or maybe even paintings. Paintings? No way, dude. That's way out of my league. I can't be with a Mona Lisa. The best I can do is a Picasso. Oh, come on, Joseph. If you have a better mind to it, you can end up with anyone you want. Any type of art. No, I can't. Well, I mean, you don't need Paige, Joseph. Oh, Paige. Ten minutes. She told me it would take ten minutes to break my heart. Oh, no, she did it. Joseph, stop singing Juice World. I'm feeling it right now, bro. All right, Joseph. <laughs> Look, well, maybe one day you can move on to, like, you know, collages or, or oil pastels. Maybe statues. The Statue of Liberty got that wagon. Yeah, she does have a wagon. She got that thing on it. Yeah, she got that thing. So, look, <laughs> obviously you need your time to sulk and be sad. So, just know, just know that I always have this cardboard cut out of Avril Lavigne. So, if you get lonely, she's right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jeffy, are you ready for dinner? Mommy, I swear, if you guys try to feed me green beans again, I will unleash a rage unlike anything you've ever seen before. I will say the worst word I can possibly think of in that moment. Oh, Jeffy. All right, Jeffy, here's your dinner, green beans. Mm -hmm. One pecker for Jeffy.
Jeffy! Jeffy, that's not a bad word. Well, the second word is, the second word means BB. Well, Jeffy, don't say that. Well, the YouTube robot didn't hear me say it, and it does mean BB. Well, Jeffy, just eat your green beans. Uh, I don't have to. Uh, you do have to. Uh, I know you not. Jeffy, eat your green beans. Why? Because they're good for you. Why? Because they're green. Why? Because they're a vegetable. Why? Because. I don't know, Jeffy. Uh -huh, I got you, Jay. Don't have to eat it. Oh, Jeffy, what can I do to make you eat your green beans? Um, stick your head in the porta potty for 10 minutes. Jeffy, th th what's something realistic I can do? Hmm, stick your hand in the porta potty for 10 minutes? Well, no, Jeffy, what's something not gross I can do? Make me a milkshake. You're not drinking a milkshake, Jeffy. That's unhealthy. Says the fat guy. What? Jeffy, there is no fat shaming in this household. Uh -huh. Just because Mario's fat. What? what? No, 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 Jeffy, look, look just, just eat your green beans, okay? I'll get you a milkshake after you finish your green beans. Dang, this is not my first rodeo. I'm not even taking these green beans in my mouth until there's a milkshake sitting right here. So, poop that bottom. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, you want a milkshake? I'll get you a milkshake. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mario, what are you doing? <sighs> Making Jeffy a green bean milkshake. Mario, that's disgusting. No, it's healthy. He's not going to know. He's going to think it's a milkshake, okay? Mario, that's not going to work. It's going to work. Trust me, baby. Let, let me just add the milk. Oh, Ew. yeah. That's looking like a milkshake. Uh-huh. Oh, that's so gross, Mario. <laughs> Just trust me, baby. He's not going to notice it. <sighs> now watch this. <sighs> milkshake aroni Uh-huh. No, Mario. It looks delicious. You can't feed him that. Look, he's not going to know. Okay? No one's going to know. No one's going to know. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, here's your milk. Jeffy! Oh! What? You're already back? Well, Jeffy, well, you said you didn't eat your green beans. That means you don't get your milkshake. Well, good, because I literally just watched you guys with my own two eyes put cans of green beans in the blender and blend it up and try to pass it off as a milkshake. Well, Jeffy, what are you talking about? We didn't do that. You guys were literally five feet from me. You were standing right there. It's true, Mario. He saw us. What? Jimmy, drink your green bean milkshake right now. Okay, Danny. Let me just take a sip. Mmm, oh, it's so good. Mmm, yummy. Oh, what? Oh, what? Jimmy, stop it! Jimmy, you know what? You're gonna eat your green beans. I'm gonna give you one, five more cans of green beans. Danny, you'll never get a green bean down my throat. <laughs> Mario, why don't we try feeding him something else? Never! Never! Jimmy, this means war! Oh, he's gonna get some green beans. He's gonna eat some green beans tonight. Jeffy's eating some green beans. I sure showed my daddy I'm never eating green beans ever, ever again. Hey, Jeffy. Who's that? Your worst nightmare. Daddy? Why do you sound like that? You should have ate your green beans when you had the chance. No more Mr. Nice Guy. And why are you wearing those goofy glasses? You're going to regret not eating your green beans. Well, I'm not eating them, so I don't know what you want me to say. Do me a favor. <sighs> Say ah. Uh. You missed. Ha ha. <laughs> I don't miss twice. Huh. Okay, maybe I missed twice, but I won't miss a third time. Third time's a charm. Ha ha. <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> Jeffy, you chose the hard way when you should have chose the easy way. <sighs> Mario, how's it going? I just fed Jeffy a mouthful of green beans. Oh, good. Did he like them? Sent him right to sleep. Mario, Jeffy's not breathing. But he's not. Oh, he's just playing around. He, he just acts like that because it tastes so bad. Well, how did you feed it to him? Shot it down his throat with this Nerf gun. <gasps> Mario, he's choking! Well, he's not choking. He looks nothing like the Atlanta Falcons. Mario, Mario, you have to give him the high like He's dying. Well, I'm not going to lick his butt. Mario, we need to call the doctor right now so he can save Jeffy. Oh, Jeffy, come on. Stop oh, playing around. No. Stop playing around, Jeffy. Mario, call the doctor. Okay, okay, I'll call oh. the doctor. Hey there, somebody doctor, call the doctor. Doctor, my son is choking. D -d 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 Hold on. Let me finish my line first. <clears throat> hey there, somebody call the doctor. Doctor, my son is 
choking! Hold on, hold on. I'm the doctor here. No one's choking unless I say they're choking. Let's take a look. Um, hmm. Yuck. Well, the good news is he's not choking. Really? Yeah, the bad news is he already choked. What? He already choked? Give him CPR! Mm, hold on. How old is he? 16. Ooh, yeah, sorry. No can do. 18 and up. That's my rule. You're don't know. You know, it starts with the kiss, and then maybe you go out to dinner, and one thing leads to another, so I just want to play it safe, 18 or not. You know, call me in two years, we'll see what happens. Well, so there's nothing you could do? Like, well, what's wrong with him? Well, I mean, he's dead, man. He's dead! Oh, God. Oh, how long is she gonna be doing this? Because I'm gonna go. Well, I mean, <laughs> this is really the worst part of the job, honestly. I'm gonna tell parents that their kid croaked. It's like I come out of the operating room, they're like, how is he? And it's like, ugh. Can I just text it to you? Because I don't really want to say it out loud. Mario killed him! <laughs> I'm sorry, what? He shot him with a gun! What? Okay, should I be getting my cop uniform? Oh, no, 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 this is what happened, this is what happened, look. I, I took this Nerf gun, and I put green beans in it, because Jeffy wouldn't eat his green beans, and I shot him down his throat, and then he choked. I, I, I don't, I, this isn't really looking too good for you. Oh, no, 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 it, it was an accident! Uh, okay, uh, excuse, excuse me, miss, 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 yeah, yeah, could, could, could you keep it down? We're trying to have a conversation. Could, could you just take that to another one? I'm sorry, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Thank you. Oh, my God, you have to live with that? Jesus, I was I was going to arrest you, but that's punishment enough. You're going to be deaf. Well, so, so Jeffy's really dead? Well, yeah, he's dead. Like, he's gone forever? Like, there's no bringing him back? Yeah, that's what dead means. Well, what? So, so there's nothing you can do to bring Jeffy back? I mean, you could try burying him in the pet cemetery. What's that? Well, it's a movie I saw one time. It's like these people, they bury the pets in like the cemetery, and the pets come back to life. Is that real? No, man, it's a movie. Well, then why would you tell me about that? I just thought it was cool. I don't know. So you can't bring Jeffy back to life? No, sorry. <laughs> I can help you bury him, though. Uh, you can help me bury him? Yeah, I'll go get my shovel, and I guess we can just bury him in the backyard like a like a pet hamster or something. Well, come on. Uh, oh, Jeffy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, he's buried. Oh, poor Jeffy. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing you had a spare piece of wood we could carve rip into, though. Oh, I miss him so much. It's all my fault. Oh, oh yeah, uh, some advice. If you ever sell your house, uh, let the people who live here after you know that your son's buried in the backyard. You don't want them getting a nasty surprise when they try to put a pool in. Okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> Jeffy. But Jeffy ate all the Play-Doh. I didn't mean make him out of Play-Doh. Then what did you mean, Mario? Just forget it. <laughs> Look, just after a while, it'll be like Jeffy never existed. You did this. Well, it was an accident. I was just trying to feed him his vegetables. <laughs> and it cost him his life. Look, if I could bring Jeffy back, I would. You know I would. I didn't mean for him to, I didn't mean for him to choke. You know, I, I didn't know that was going to happen. I thought he was just going to eat his vegetables. Look, maybe if I could bring Jeffy back, I would. But That'll never happen. He's gone forever. And I miss him so much. Is that my phone? Jeffy's calling. Jeffy? Answer it, Mario. This better not be some type of prank. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Uh, you got you got the wrong number. Bye. Was it Jeffy Mario? Well, I mean, he's dead, so no, it's not him. It's, someone has his phone and is messing with us. We had to disconnect that number. Uh, Who's at the door? I don't know, Mario. Let's go answer it. Let's go answer it. Uh, oh, is that Mario? Uh, let me check. some scary thing! Mario, we need to open the door. Well, what makes you think we have to do that? What if it's Jeffy? It's not Jeffy. I don't, I don't know what that thing is. Mario, I'm opening the door. What, no, 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 what's wrong with you? Jeffy, it's like you! <laughs> is that Jeffy? I don't know. It kind of looks like Jeffy, but it's like... It's like...
think he's a zombie. Whoa. What's he doing? <laughs> yeah, that's Jeffy. That's definitely Jeffy. Okay, so let's call a doctor and see if he can be saved. So maybe he has some life in him. And he's just really sick, you know? But let's call a doctor. Okay. Come, okay. come on, Jeffy. Come on, come on, Jeffy. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. My son is a zombie. A, 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 a zombie? Mario, I don't want to stand by him. I'm afraid he's going to eat me. All right, Jeffy. Look, get away from Rosalina. Come closer to me. Come closer to me. Touch me, touch me. I need to take a shower. Ew. I need to take a shower. Ew, 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 ew. Wipe it off. Ew. No, don't touch me with that. So, so what do we do about my son being a zombie? Well, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Like He just showed up at our front door, breathing like that and acting all scary. Like Maybe he's still alive. Maybe he needs medical attention. Well, I guess I could give him like a like an examination or something. I mean, clearly his arm is missing. and That eye looks like it's gone bad. Wait, Jeffy, show us the top of your head. Oh, yeah, his brain's sticking out. That's not good. Was it like that already? I don't know. He always wore a helmet, so I don't know if his brain was sticking out. Oh. Well, I do like those sweet designer jeans he's wearing. Oh, hey, hey, you get those at Abba Zombie and Fitch? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you get it? Like, like Abercrombie and Fitch is the clothing store, but, but he's a zombie, you know? So, so like, he'd shop at Abba Zombie and Fitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah we get it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get it like Abba Zombie and Fitch because, it's, you know, it's like a pun, you know? Okay, so is there anything you can do about our son being a zombie? Like, can you bring him back to life? Well, I don't know about that, but I do know zombies eat brains, and we should probably get him some brains before he gets hungry. Yeah, we, we don't want him eating our brains. Oh, I just remembered. I have a whole bunch of brains in my car. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -mm, these brains look delicious. Why do you have a plate full of brains in your car? What, you don't like to get a little road brain? I like to munch on these while I'm driving. What, you eat brains? Well, yeah, when you eat somebody's brain, you learn everything they know. Like, let me check this guy out. Mm. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Did you know that when the queen ant dies, all the other ants in the colony also die because they live off of the queen's poop? That guy was an entomologist. What? Okay, well, we shouldn't maybe feed these brains to Jeffy. He's the one that's a zombie. Oh, yeah, sure. Here you go, Jeffy. Jeffy, chew with your mouth closed. Uh, all right, so now that he's eating those brains, what do we do? Can, can we turn Jeffy back into a human? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, I have an idea. If I, if I try tasting all these brains, maybe one of them will know what to do. Okay. Okay, let me try this one. Oh, don't worry, Jeffy. Oh, oh okay. Mm, mm. Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah. I, I, I think I know what to do. What? Well, you see, Jeffy came back from the dead because he wants to teach you a lesson. Now, if only the one of these brains spoke zombie. Yeah, that, that, that was the one. Okay, Jeffy. <laughs> Uh huh, uh huh. Uh huh, what, what, what's, he, what's he saying? Shh, shh, shh. Uh huh, I see, I see. Okay. What, what, what's he want? Well, you see, what Jeffy needs is he needs you to stick your head in a porta potty for 10 minutes. What? Yeah, that's what he wants. Is, 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 is there anything else I can do? Well, let me ask. <laughs> no, that's what he wants. <laughs> you should probably go do it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll, I'll go to the porta potty. Okay, there's a porta potty. The bounty once told me. Oh, hey, donkey. Wait, Shrek, you were in there? Yeah, donkey. I gave birth to a little crap baby out of my butthole. Eight pounds, three ounces, donkey. I'm a proud mommy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, so it stinks really bad in there? Oh, yeah, donkey. I think the stench is starting to breach the doorway. Hurry up and get a whiff, donkey. One, two, three. All right, do it with me, donkey. Oh, 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 oh. oh God, it smells so bad. Yeah, donkey, if you're going to go in there, I think you're going to need a gas mask, donkey. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 God, I did it. I did it. It was so gross, but I did it. <laughs> that was payback, Daddy, for you making me in your green bean. Wait, what? We got you good, Mario. We? You were a part of this? I did the makeup. What, makeup? Yeah, Daddy, this is all makeup. Am I a pretty girl? And who do you think really amputated Jeffy's arm so you could pull it off? 
me. What? So all you guys were in on this? Why? Mario, you shouldn't force feed Jeffy to eat green beans. Yeah, Danny, and whatever you experienced out in that porta potty is exactly what happens every time I have to eat green beans. I guess you guys are right. I shouldn't just force feed Jeffy green beans. I, I should actually feed him nutritional foods and, and with protein and, and other types of stuff from the food pyramid. It shouldn't just be green beans. I'm sorry, Jeffy, for all these years of me trying to force feed you green beans. I promise I'll be a better dad and feed you different foods. Pee pee! That's what I'm talking about, Daddy! Alright, Jeffy, where's my 20 bucks? Oh, it's right here. There you go. Thank you. Alright, Jeffy, come on, let's go get your arm sewed back on. Alright. Hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? I just finished making my list of all the things I want for my birthday tomorrow. Okay, what's the first thing you want? Well, first thing on my list is Disney World. But Jeffy, you're not getting Disney World. Disney World's really expensive and it's really far away, so you're not getting that. What's the second thing on your list? Disney World. Je Jeffy, what's the third thing on your list? You're not getting Disney World. Disney World. Jeffy, what is the fourth thing? No Disney World. Disney World. Oh, Jeffy, what else on the list besides Disney World? It's all Disney World, Daddy. Well, Jeffy, you're not going to Disney World. It's too expensive and really far away. Well, Daddy, the only thing I want for my birthday this year is Disney World. You told me yesterday the only thing you wanted for your birthday was a minion playing a guitar. Well, I changed my mind, Daddy. Well, I guess I'm going to have to return this then. Well, you don't have to return it. I'll still play with it. No, Je Jeffy, look, you're not getting Disney World. You can choose something else. Daddy, this is my 15th birthday. This is going to be my favorite birthday ever. And I want Disney World. I'm turning 15, which is three of these. That'd be 12, Jeffy. Well, it's not my fault I don't have an extra finger on this hand. Oh, okay, Jeffy, look, you're not getting Disney World, and that's fine. So go make a whole new list, okay? <laughs> don't you cry. Don't cry. Jeffy, you know... I wanted to see Mickey Mouse and ride all the rides at Disney World, and my daddy hates me uh, on my 15th birthday. He said, Jeffy, you're a bad boy. Uh, you don't get Disney World. You don't get to smile. Bad daddy. <laughs> I didn't say any of that. <laughs> Jeffy, I can't afford it. I wish there was a cheaper version of Disney World. Hey, you! Are you poor? Can't afford to take your kid to Disney World? Well, come on down to Sam's Fun City. We got rides, we got games, and we got Boofy. What's a Boofy? Come on down and find out. Oh my God, that's exactly what I needed. I'm gonna tell Jeffy that's Disney World and I'll just take him there. I mean, he won't know the difference. He's so stupid, he'll think it's Disney World. Yes, he's gonna save my life and Jeffy's gonna think I'm a good dad. Jeffy, Jeffy, get in here. What do you want, Daddy? You tell me you hate me some more? What, no, no, Jeffy, I have a huge surprise for you tomorrow for your birthday. What is it? I'm not going to tell you, Jeffy, it'll ruin the surprise. But look, I just want you to go to bed so in the morning I can take you to the super secret surprise place for your birthday tomorrow, okay? Okay, Daddy. Hey, let's get you in bed. Jeffy! Jeffy, get in here! Are you ready for your birthday surprise? Oh, yeah, Daddy. I'm ready. I got my puffy balls. Yeah, you're turning 15 years old, Jeffy. Yep. What? Oh, Daddy, my balls dropped. Well, well, that happens when you're 15, Jeffy. Well, anyway, it's your birthday, so I'm going to take you somewhere really special for your birthday. It's a big surprise, so follow me, okay? All right, Daddy. All right, Jeffy. Welcome to Disney World. Yay! But, Daddy, where's all the people at? Uh, the, the, the people, uh, uh, Jeffy, I rented out Disney World just for you. <gasps> you did, Daddy? Yep, yep, Are I did. Are you a billionaire? Yep, I, I, I'm, I'm a billionaire. Yay! My daddy's a billionaire. I'm going to tell all my friends at school. No, 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 you have to keep it a secret. Don't tell anybody. Why, daddy? Because I don't want people asking me for money. Oh, yeah, because you're a tooth fairy, right, daddy? Y yep, yep. So uh, what, oh. do you want, what do you want to go do first? I want to see the castle, daddy. Where's that? Uh, the, the castle. Uh, 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 Jeffy, you didn't hear? You, you didn't hear that Disney World got rid of the castle? <gasps> Why, daddy? Uh, M M M Mickey Mouse, uh, he had to sell the castle. He couldn't afford it. He, Why would he do that? Because he wanted to buy a shirt. He, he only wears shorts. So oh, he wanted a shirt, so I get it. he wanted a very expensive shirt, so he sold the castle. Look, look, look there's a fountain. They, 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 they replaced it with this fountain, see? Oh. Yep. Oh, it's not as good as the castle, but it'll do. Yeah, all right, so let's, let's go ride some rides. Let's, oh, Daddy, let's go. What ride you want to ride? Oh, Daddy, Daddy, can we ride the giraffe ride? Uh, yeah, sure, the merry-go-round. That's a nice, safe ride. Yeah, let's ride that. Come on, Daddy, let's go. Hey, Daddy, look, I'm riding the giraffe. This is so pee-pee. Yes, Jeffy, it's very pee-pee. Daddy, how did they get the giraffe to stay right here? Well, Jeffy, there's a pole going through his back. <laughs> oh, what's wrong, Jeffy? They killed the giraffe. Oh, 
they, 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 didn't, they didn't kill him, Jeffy. Yes, they did. They, they're not real. They're not real, Je Jeffy. Look, look, they're not real. They, they're fake. They're, they're, stop the ride, Jeff. Come on, Jeffy. We're getting off this. Hey, Dad, can we ride this ride right here? Uh, Jeffy, uh, that looks like a big boy ride. Dad, do I not look like a big boy to you? I'm um, 15 years old. Jeffy, you're still wearing a diaper. Well, that's so I don't pee my pants, Daddy. Big boys don't pee their pants, Jeffy. Come on, Daddy, let's ride this ride. Daddy, what does this ride do? Jeffy, this ride, like, spins us around a lot of circles. Am I gonna throw up? Uh, hopefully not. I wanna throw up. You, you don't, you don't wanna throw up. No, you, no stop, Jeffy, stop it. Don't make yourself throw up. Okay, Jeffy, it's starting. Jeffy, stop, stop it. Stop, it's, it's, it's not even screaming. It's not even going that fast yet. Oh, dang, I don't feel so good. Well, it's okay, Jeffy. We're, he's stopping the ride. You don't have to throw up anymore, okay? Just hold on. He goes, Bleh. Now you just throw up. Yeah, because I'm getting sick. Oh, Danny, I want to ride the cars. Well, uh, Jeffy, you don't have your license. You can't drive. Danny, I'm 15. I want my permit. But, but Jeffy, like, you might wreck, and then we might get hurt, and you don't want to get hurt on your birthday. But, Danny, I'm going super slow, I promise. I'm going to slow as the car can go. <sighs> super slow? Yeah, promise. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's go. Yeah! Daddy, look, I'm driving a race car. Yeah, and you're going to go nice and slow, just like you said, right? I didn't like slow. You're going to have to like slow, Jeffy. You're going to have to like I didn't like it. Jeffy, Jeffy, you have to like it, okay? So look, just drive nice and slow and go straight, okay? All right, Daddy. Yeah, just, just go straight. But, hey, keep your eye on the road. Jeffy, you're going to hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Jeffy, you just hit the wall. Jeffy, you're scraping the wall. You're scraping the wall, Jeffy. Good. No good. This, this, Jeffy, it's sparking. It, Jeffy, it's sparking. Oh, yeah, look, 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 like this. Stay straight. Stay straight. Jeffy, it's, it's scraping. Stay, Jeffy. Look. Like that, like that. I like that. I like that. I like this. All right, we're just going to do this, okay? We're just going to keep going. No, 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 no. Jeffy, Jeffy stop it. Hey, Daddy, how was my driving? Never again. Never will I ever let you drive ever again. You're never getting a license. Well, I thought I did pretty good. No, no, you didn't. No, you were not supposed to hit the wall. All you did was hit the wall. Oh. Ooh, ooh Daddy, can we ride the big wheel ride next? What? No, Jeffy, you can't get on that ride. Why not, Daddy? Because it's so tall and high up and, and unsafe. Look, you could fall out of that thing. Well, I'm wearing my helmet, Daddy. Well, see, well, I'm not wearing a helmet, so if I fall out, I'm not going to be protected. Well, you can borrow my helmet, Daddy. Well, but then I, but then you won't have your helmet. And you look, Jeffy, look, I'm afraid of heights, and what if we get stuck at the top and we can't get down, and it's ours, and then they have to send a helicopter. It, it's just the whole thing. Well, that'd be fun, Daddy. Just me and my Daddy well, stuck at the no, top no, for no, hours it, and hours. It would not be fun, Jeffy. I'm afraid of heights. I don't want to go up there. We're not going up there. You're not allowed to go on the ride. <laughs> Jeffy, Jeffy. Daddy, in all of Disney World, this is the only ride I want to ride, and you're telling me no on my birthday. Yes, you're not going to ride it, Jeffy. Wait, let's go home. You're not going to ride it. Oh, my daddy's hitting me. No, 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 he no. won't stop no, hitting no, no, okay, Jeffy, He's I'm, beating I'm, me. Okay, Jeffy, okay, fine, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We get right, on. Dad, let's go. We get on it, but only for like five seconds, okay? Five seconds. All right, Jeffy, we're on the Ferris wheel. Can we get off now? No, Daddy. We still got to go up. Jeffy, I can't go up there. I can't. I'm afraid of heights. Pull the lever, crunk. What? Uh, no, wrong lever! Wrong lever! Uh, no, no, no! Oh, Jeffy! Oh, Jeffy, I'm afraid of heights! I'm afraid of heights! Jeffy, let me down! Oh my god! Jeffy! Jeffy! Daddy! Don't worry about it! Look how high we are, Daddy! Oh, he's stopping us! Why'd you stop us up here? Oh, he, he stopped us up here! Jeffy, why would he stop us up here? Oh my god! No. Oh, what are we gonna do, Jeffy? What are we gonna do? Oh, dang! What's this thing? Jeffy, that's a wasp nest! Oh, can't hit it. Jeffy, don't, 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 don't hit that wasp nest! We're up here! We can't get off! Dang, there's nothing I wanna do more on my birthday than to hit that wasp nest! Jeffy, you do not hit that wasp nest! I'm gonna hit it. Don't hit it! I'm gonna hit it! Jeffy, don't you hit that! Ow, my face hurts. Ow. Daddy? Don't talk to me, Jeffy. Do not talk to me. Your birthday's over. But, Daddy, I didn't get to see Mickey Mouse. Well, you're not going to see Mickey Mouse. Why, Daddy? Because he doesn't exist. <laughs> Don't you start crying. You got my face stuck by wasp. <laughs> I want to see Mickey Mouse. You better show me Mickey Mouse right now. Oh, okay. Fine, Jeffy. I'll see what I can do.
Hey. No, oh, Jesus, what happened to your face? I got stuck my wasp. Oh, you must have been riding the Ferris wheel. Yeah, that thing's riddled with wasps. Well, thanks for the heads up. Yeah. Well, uh, anyway, I'm, I need a favor from you. Oh, okay, what? Uh, do you have like a Mickey Mouse costume you can dress out to pretend to be Mickey Mouse? My son really wants to see Mickey Mouse. Uh, no, we don't really have Mickey Mouse. Uh, we have Boofy the Moose. What? Boofy the Moose? Yeah, Boofy. He's like he's like the mascot of this place, I guess. Uh, okay, well, I guess it's better than nothing. Can, can you do that? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll go wake him up. What? Okay. All right, Jeffy. We couldn't get you Mickey Mouse, but we got you something even better. What's that, Danny? Here he is. Boofy the Moose. What's wrong, Jeffy? I don't want Boofy the Moose. I want a Mickey Mouse. What, Boofy the Moose is awesome. C come to Boofy. Look. Look, 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 look. Dance with Boofy. Look. You and Boofy can dance. Come on. Come on, Jeffy, smile. Dance with Boofy. Hey. Hey! Yeah, yeah that, that, that's not gonna work. What, what, Boofy? You don't like him? Well, no, no, Jeffy does not like Boofy. What? Come on, but it's Boofy, though. Yeah, yeah, I know it's Boofy, but he really wants Mickey Mouse. Well, look, we don't have Mickey Mouse. Well, look, 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 look it's, it's his birthday, though. What? It's my birthday, too, and I don't want to be here. But well, look, I, here I am. Okay, okay, look, how about this? I'll pay you extra if you can just please find a Mickey Mouse costume, please. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess I can go make a costume. Yeah, thank you so much. Boofy the Moose. He smells like feet and pee. Like when you pee on your feet in your shower. Wait, Jeffy, no one does that. I want Mickey Mouse. Well, I know you want Mickey Mouse, Jeffy. That's why I, I made some phone calls and pulled some strings, and look who showed up. It's me, Mickey Mouse. Hot diggity dog. Mickey Mouse, you're here? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's me. It's Mickey Mouse. So, so what, what do you want? Dang, look, it's Mickey I just wanted to meet you, Mickey Mouse. Okay, great. So, are we done here or what? Oh, Dang, can Mickey Mouse come back to the house for cake? No, no, Mickey Mouse can't do that. Mickey Mouse doesn't get off work till five. Uh, well, 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 maybe uh, Mickey Mouse can come if I pay him an extra five. Uh, yeah, I guess Mickey Mouse could swing that. Sure. Yeah, yeah, so let's go back to the house and have some cake. So Yay! Yeah, we can end this day. All right, Jeffy, are you ready for us to sing you happy birthday so you can blow out your candles and make a wish? Yeah, Danny, I still can't believe I get to eat cake with Mickey Mouse. You know, it's my birthday, too. You guys could have gotten me a present or something. I got the same birthday as Mickey Mouse? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, how about that? Yeah, anyway, let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to Jeffy. Uh, okay. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to Jeffy. Jeffy. Happy birthday to Jeffy. Happy birthday to you. All right, blow your candles, Jeffy. <sighs> you make a wish? Yeah, dang. Cool, how about we relight those candles and then we sing happy birthday to me this time? I'm not paying you for that, so stop it. Okay, you know what? What well, about that? What, what? what happened to Mickey Mouse? I cut him up into little pieces and then I wore his skin like a suit. What? You deal with that. What'd you wish for? What'd you wish for? I wish that I could throw my cake as far as I can, Daddy. You're not gonna throw your cake, Jeffy. Well, that's what I wish for, Daddy. <laughs> it's my birthday, and I want to throw my cake. Uh, okay, fine, Jeffy. Since it's your birthday, we've been the last thing you're doing for your birthday. Yay! I get to throw my cake. <sighs> okay, make it quick. <laughs> Okay, are you happy? You happy for your birthday? Yeah, Dad! I threw my cake! Uh, well, I hope you had a good birthday, Jeffy. I did, Daddy. <laughs> Jeffy, stop it! <laughs> Jeffy, stop it. Mario, he's having fun. Calm down. He's not hurting anyone. He's being annoying. Jeffy, stop it. I didn't have to. Jeffy, I, I bet you can't, you know, not beat your diaper for 30 seconds. I'll give you a dollar. All right, bet. Yeah, 30 seconds without doing it. <laughs> I guess I do have to. Jeffy! Hold on, let me see who's at the door. Uh, hello? Hey there, Mario. Oh, uh, Goodman, I don't have my house payment this month. Well, don't worry, Mario. I'm not here to take your money. I'm here to give you money. What? You give me money? I know. Sounds crazy, right? You're probably thinking, where did I bump my head with all this crazy talk? Uh, yeah. But anyway, Mario, my CPA said that I have to give away $1 million to charity. Well, you're giving me a million dollars? No, Mario. Hold on. Let me finish. He said that I had to give my money away to charity or else I'd have to give it to the IRS. 
so I don't want to give it to the IRS. So I'm putting together a little charity baseball game. And I was wondering if you wanted to be a part of the adult team. It's going to be kids versus adults. Well, I would love to be a part of it. If I get a part of a million dollars, I'll do it. Okay, well grab your glove and be down on the field in 20 minutes, okay? Uh, all right. All right, see you then. Baby, guess what? I'm gonna be a millionaire. Mario, are you feeling okay? Yes, I'm feeling okay. Goodman's giving a million dollars to a charity baseball game, and all I have to do is beat a bunch of little kids in baseball. Well, that doesn't sound very fair, Mario. It is fair. Adults versus kids, and kids are have more energy and because they eat all that sugar and candy. And, and look, look, all I have to do is beat a bunch of little kids in baseball, and I win a million dollars. Hey, Dad, can I play? Well, I mean, I guess you can join the little kids team, but look, look I have to go win a million dollars. So turn on the TV, baby. Watch me be a star. Okay, Mario. Good luck. Hello and welcome to the first ever I'm giving someone one million dollars so I can use it as a tax write-off competition. It's going to be kids versus adults, so I'm expecting it to be a blowout. All right, guy. All you got to do is strike out this little kid. I mean, it can't be that hard. He's a little kid. He sucks at baseball. Now me, I could have gone pro if it wasn't for my carpal tunnel. Hi, Boydie. Do you need any help? What? No, Karen, what are you doing up here? You're supposed to be in the outfield. Aw, the outfield's so boring, Boydie. But yeah, I know it's boring, Karen. It's baseball. It's supposed to be boring. Hey, Boydie, why am I wearing an oven mitt? I'm not baking cookies. Wait, it's not an oven mitt, Karen. It's a catches mitt for catching balls. Oh, so you want to fool around? But no, Karen, there are kids around. I, I just want to play baseball. Go away. But Boydie, it's so boring in the outfield. I know, Karen. That's the point. Just, just go. Get out of here. But what am I supposed to do? Just, just stand over there and catch whatever comes your way. But what if I catch the flu? I, at this point, I don't care. That'd be fine. Just go. Okay, Boydie. All right, kid. You ready to get struck out? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm ready to hit it. I'm going to hit it out of the park. Here, donkey, 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 donkey. Swing. Oh, dude, I'm not going to fall for that. Here, donkey, 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 donkey. All right. I'm going to give him the super duper ultra fast mega fast speedy sonic boom fastball fast. And my glove changed hands, but no one's going to notice. Ah. Here, donkey, 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 swing! What? What? Somebody please catch it! Mmm, nice grass. <laughs> that's an out! That, that's an out! He caught it in his mouth, but that still counts. That's an out. That is one out. Yes! Man, I'm such a good pitcher. I should have gone pro, man. Oh, man, that doesn't count! He was supposed to catch it with his glove! You're out of there, donkey! Oh, man, I'm ready to hit a home run! Here, donkey, 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 donkey! Here, donkey, 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 swing! Oh, someone get it, someone get it, someone get it! Boydie, the ball's coming at me, what do I do? Grab it! What do I do now, Boydie? Throw it to first base. Oh, uh, which one's first base? It's the first one. Where? It's over there, just throw it at first base. That's really far, Boydie! I yeah, just throw it, Karen. Are you taking me to Olive Garden later? Yes, just throw it. <laughs> Wait, I could have kept running, couldn't I? Yeah. Oh, thank God he's an idiot and didn't keep running. He could have had an inside the park home run. Whew. All right, who wants it next? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, it's so heavy. Easy out. Joseph, I'm on your team. You're supposed to encourage me. Easy out. Easy out. Well, they're all easy outs because I'm a really good pitcher. All right, I'll just make this a simple pitch. Uh. All right, Cody, you can hit it. <laughs> You're supposed to hit the ball with the bat, not your face, Cody. Oh, God, it hurts. Oh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. That was my bad. I, I just wanted to give him an easy base because I know we're going to win by so much. <laughs> what happens now? You get to go to second base because he got hit with the ball. Oh, sweet. All right. I'm ready to hit. Oh, come on. This is too easy. I mean, I, I, I'm going to strike him out. I mean, because, I mean, you know, just, just look at him. He's. Uh, all right, all right. I might as well get this over with. Oh my god, he crushed it! Somebody please catch that! I got it! I got it! I, I, I don't got it. No, oh, that, that was... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I, I, I was going easy on him. It's, it's no big deal. I mean, how many points is that? Like three? We're gonna get like 70. That's nothing. That's nothing. Doesn't matter. Here comes Gunner! I'm gonna hit the ball! Throw it to me, fat boy! All right, everyone. Easy. Easy out right here. I'm gonna throw him a curveball. Uh. Ow! Ugh! Wait, 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 he's not running, he's not running, catch it! Oh, 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 I got it, I got it! Yeah! Uh, somebody left their toy on the plate. No, he's hitting. Oh, he's a doll, dude! He's the best player we have. Uh, easy out. Okay, that that's just a doll. I can strike out a doll. All right, here we go. <clears throat> strike one! <laughs> he can't hit it, dude! Yes, he can, Joseph. Strike two! <laughs> Come on, can't hit it. Strike three! Oh! You're out of there! 
Yes, that's three outs. Three outs. All right, all right, it's our turn, and I'm first at bat. All right, Jeffy's going to win your baseball game. All right, I'm about to crush it. My name's Cooter. Uh, yeah, that's great. Okay, let's play. Clean the bat, fat boy. Yeah, I got it. Jeffy's going to throw it really hard. Yeah. <laughs> That's track one. Yeah, I know. You're distracting me. My name's Cooter, fat boy. Yeah, I, I know that. Uh, okay, you know what? Halftime. Well, let's take let's take halftime. All right, they just called an unexpected halftime, and the kids are up three to zero. So if the adults can score four points, they'll win. All right, huddle up. We need to have a team meeting. All right, do you have any idea who's beating us out there? Good or dead? I'm beating you. What, what are you doing in here? You're not supposed to be here. This isn't your locker room. But my name is Gator. Yeah, I know. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here right now. Okay, look, guys. We have to do better. The score is three to zero. We are losing pretty bad. All we have to do is score four more points. Yeah, because then we'll win by one point. <sighs> yeah. Thank you, Captain Obvious. O okay, look. I think we should wait until nighttime because I can't even see the ball out there in the sunlight. They, they have an advantage with their young eyes. All right. Now that it's dark, we're going to start the game back up. And remember, the kids are up three to zero. Hey, where'd the sun go? Oh, there they are. There's just a bunch of them. All right, who's running for baseball? All right, now that we had halftime and it's dark outside, I can see better. The other team was trying to cheat playing in the daytime like that. Come on, fat boy, let's hit the ball. I'm going to. Oh, oh, and since we had halftime, my first strike doesn't count. All right, let's do this. I'm about to give you a hard ball. <laughs> Strike one. You're out of here. No, I get two more tries. Strike two. Take a seat. You messed me up. All right, I'm going to hit it. Strike three. You're out of here, fat boy. You know what? Uh, come on. I wasn't ready. All right, I get one more chance. Look what I did. What a hit. It's coming right towards me. Out of my way, kid. Uh, hey, you pushed me. Sucker. So I get it! <laughs> Ken, catch! Get him out! <laughs> Cody, why is Ken on second base? Joseph, get it! I got it, dude. Ugh, stupid Cody. I got it! I got it! <laughs> what? Ow. You're out, fat boy. Ow, no, I'm not. I scored. Not my house. Okay, look. This is how you win against kids. It's three to one now. All right, Jeffy. I'm about to hit it out of the park. But my name's Scooter. I was talking to Jeffy, who's pitching. Let's swing it, fat boy. All right. I got it! I got it! Oh, you're out! <laughs> oh, man, I got an out. Mario, what are you doing? These are children. We need to win. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, my turn. Baby, baby, please hit it. I know how to play soccer, boy day. <sighs> We're not playing soccer. We're playing baseball. All right. I'm about to fart. <clears throat> Shot one, you're out of here. Baby, just hit the ball. Pee-pee. Strike two, go home. If you don't hit this next one, I want a divorce. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm so sorry, boy. No, no, that's it, that's it. I want a divorce. Oh, boy, Nate. There's a chance. But, boy, I love you. Strike three, you lose. Oh, man, I'm going to knock this out of the park. Go, baby, go. Quiet, woman, I'm trying to swing. I thought we were going to do that at the neighbor's house. <laughs> swing, fat boy, swing. Yes, 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 yes! I gotta do it, I gotta do it! Aw, home run! Good hit, honey. Go home and make me some dinner, woman. Okay. <laughs> I got a stick. Hey, Santa Claus, let me take all up for Christmas. Scooter, what's a scooter? <laughs> Pencil man. <laughs> yeah, beep, 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 beep. <clears throat> Strike one, Santa Claus. <clears throat> Come on, who let the homeless guy play? <clears throat> Strike two, Santa Claus, go back to the North Pole. If he strikes out, I'm gonna cry. You want another hardball? <laughs> oh my God, that's a home run, we're gonna win. I got it, dude, I got it, dude. Oh, we won! <laughs> we won, we won! Yeah, yeah, we did it. Kiss me, Junior. Oh, no, no, we won. Yeah. We lost, we, we actually lost to a bunch of kids. It's okay, Boiny. Are we still going to Olive Garden? No, no, we're not still going to Olive Garden. Olive Garden is canceled because we didn't win the million dollars. <sighs> wow, what a shocking ending. The kids win it, three to two. So now the kids win one million dollars. Congratulations to them. <laughs> Mario, it's okay. I lost a million dollars. <laughs> I know, Mario, but you're still my all-star. <laughs> What's up, Daddy? Yeah, the Eddie. <laughs> What'd you do with your million dollars? Oh, 
Oh, Dad, I gave my half to charity. You what? Oh, Jeffy, that's so sweet. Yep, and the name on the charity is Jeffy's Bank Account. What? Go. <gasps> Are you okay? Oh man, I can't believe tomorrow's Christmas. Oh, I don't really like Christmas, dude. Ever since my parents left, Santa stopped giving me gifts. It's really weird. Well, I'm gonna open up my present like really fast. Like, what? Cody, what are you wearing? Oh, this. Well, my mom made me a Christmas sweater, but she made it out of a rug we had in the bathroom, so it's wet and it kind of stinks. Yeah, it smells really bad, Cody. Uh, hey, dude, uh, I got a question. It might seem weird, but um, can I stay the night with you tonight? What? It's the night before Christmas, Joseph. I know, but I don't have a family, so can I ever stay the night with you for Christmas, please? I mean, I guess so, Joseph. That'd be kind of fun. I know, right? Can I spend the night, too? What? Cody, you actually have a family. Why would you want to stay here? Well, yeah, but we celebrate Hanukkah, and I just really don't want to go home. All all right, well, let me go ask Chef PB if you guys can stay the night for Christmas. Okay, dude. Mm-mm-mm, mm, these Christmas cookies turned out delicious! Hey, Chef PB! Uh, what do you want, Junior? Can my friends stay the night tonight? No, they can't stay the night tonight! It's Christmas Eve! Tomorrow is Christmas! Let us spend time with their families! Well, why don't you spend time with your family? <laughs> so is that a yes or a no? <laughs> Guys, guys, I think Chef Pee said yes. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I know, we're going to stay up all night oh, talking. It's going to be really wait, fun. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait, what do you mean you think? Well, I think he said yes. Well, I kind of wanted a definite answer. Oh, okay, Cody. He said yes. How about that? Okay. All right, it's Christmas Eve, guys. What do you want to do? Oh, well, we could go Christmas caroling. What, what's that mean? Well, it means we go door to door to people's houses and sing. Are they going to pay us? Well, no. Well, then why would we do it? Well, because it's fun. All right, what type of songs do we sing? Well, we sing Christmas songs. Oh, like, to the window! To the wall, to the wall, to the sweat drop down my ball. Ah, ski, ski, no, no, mother. No, 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 Christmas songs. That's not a Christmas song. No, like Jingle Bells and Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Well, those songs are lame. Yeah, but well, that's what they want to hear. Well, what if they request the to the window song? Well, if they ask for that, we'll do it. Okay, let's go do it then. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, let's start singing Jingle Bells outside this random house. Well, yeah. It sounds illegal, Cody. Yeah, and weird. Well, no, people love it. <sighs> okay, what song are we singing? Jingle Bells. You ready? A one. A two, a one, two, three. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun! Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Oh my God, not Christmas carolers! Ugh, let me get these jokers out of here. Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? Get out of here! I don't want you guys Christmas caroling. I want you guys to leave. You guys are trespassing on my property. Now get out of here before I call the cops. And I am a cop, so the response time's gonna be great. Now leave. All right, Joseph, plan B. To the window! To the wall! To the wall! Give a sweat drips down my balls! Ah, ski, ski, See, Cody, I told you they like my Christmas song more. It's not even a Christmas song, Junior. Well, whatever. It's a good song. It's better than all the stupid songs you were trying to sing. All right, guys, what do you want to do for Christmas Eve now? Oh, it doesn't even matter, dude. Whatever you want to do. Ooh, ooh, you want to see my list of Santa Claus for what I want for Christmas? Oh, yeah, dude, get it, get it! Uh, all right, tell me what you think. All right, let's see what you got. Uh, thoughts? Thoughts? Thoughts, thoughts. It, Junior just says thoughts over and over again. Not number nine. It, it says, uh, thoughts? Yeah, like what else could I possibly want? Oh, dude, dude, check out my list. <laughs> I, I put, I want a family, uh, food, I want a home, uh, I want water, uh, electricity too for the home, uh, oh, I would like a bed, you know, to sleep in, uh, clothes. And socks, you know, to match the clothes. Uh, AC for when it's hot, because the summer is way too hot. And love. Well, at least you put the same thing for number 10. All right, guys, check out my Christmas list. Cody, you don't need a stupid list. You celebrate Hanukkah. You don't even celebrate Christmas. Get that yeah, list out of here. Yeah. Anyway, all right, guys, what do you do? What, what do you want to do for Christmas Eve now? Uh, we could have hot chocolate. Or well, Cody, I already put thought. Should I be more specific on the color? But, uh, no, no, Junior, hot chocolate, like the drink. Uh, ooh, okay, let's go ask Chef Pee for some hot chocolate. Ooh, okay. hot chocolate. <laughs> Hey, Chef Pee, Pee can you make me and my friend some hot chocolate? No, you can make it for yourself. Oh, I'm gonna go and lay down. But I don't know how to make it. Well, it's really easy, Junior. It's just hot chocolate milk. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll just start boiling some water. All right, Cody, the water's boiling. What do we do now? Well, first of all, you're not supposed to use water to make hot chocolate. What, what are you supposed to use then? You're supposed to use milk. What? Then it would be called hot chocolate milk, not hot chocolate. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, so I'm not supposed to use water. No. How much would you use water, Joseph? Oh, uh, I usually you use milk, dude. Oh, you know what? Well, then fine. I'm gonna pour out the stupid water then. Here you pour it out. <laughs> oh, what do I do? What do I do? Junior, you, you, you burned him! Junior, you burned him! Oh, 
So what's wrong with him, doctor? Well, you threw boiling water on him, so he's got third degree burns on most of his body. I'm pretty sure he didn't want to spend Christmas Eve in the hospital. So how long is he gonna be here? I don't know, probably like another month. A month? Yeah, we gotta do skin grafts and all kinds of stuff. I'm so sorry, Joseph. Um, doctor, can you do one more thing? Can you give his Christmas list to Santa Claus and let him know to deliver his stuff to the hospital? Oh, well, I, uh, I, I don't talk to Santa Claus. But, but then how's Santa gonna get his list? Uh, he'll figure it out. Uh, wait, 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 Cody, Cody, look, look at this, look at this. Joseph wanted family, and me and you are technically his only family, so he has his family. Yeah, and he's in the hospital, so they'll probably feed him, so he has food. He has food, and, 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 and he wanted a home, and the hospital is technically like a home, right? And, and, and he wanted water, and he has an IV, so, so that's water, and, and he wanted electricity, and they have lights here, so that's electricity. Yeah, and he wanted a bed, and he has a bed here. Oh, he has a bed, and, and then he wanted clothes, and, and they wrapped him up in that stuff, so that's technically clothes, and, and socks too. Oh, and, and he wanted AC, and, and they have AC here, and, and he wanted love. Oh, doctor, can, can you kiss him? I kiss all my patients. Mwah. So now he has love. He, he got everything he wanted on the list. It's a Christmas miracle. Merry Christmas, Joseph. You got everything you wanted. Yeah! yeah! Oh man, Cody, I'm so glad Joseph got everything on his Christmas list. Yeah, he got it in a weird way, but at least he still got it. Yeah, Joseph's having a good Christmas. Anyway, I think we should go to bed and wait for Santa Claus to bring us presents. Alright. Yeah. Alright, Cody, let's go to sleep as fast as we can because I cannot wait for Christmas morning. Okay, good night, Junior. Good night, Cody. Hey, Cody? Yeah? Uh, what time does Santa Claus come? I don't know. He's a pretty busy man, Junior. He has to visit every single house in the entire world in one night. Well, well how many houses do you think there are? Well, assuming nobody's homeless and there are seven billion people in the world, uh, he has to visit seven billion houses. So how much time does he spend at each house? Um, probably less than a second. Is that even possible? Well, no. Huh. Yeah. Hey, Chef Pee, Pee what time does Santa Claus come? Uh, he comes as soon as you go to sleep, Junior, and I go to sleep. Well, how does he know I'm asleep? Uh, he just knows, okay? Now go to sleep! <sighs> what a creep. Alright, Cody, let's go to sleep. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh man, Christmas to me! <laughs> oh, 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 man, I'm about to steal all these gifts! Oh, I hope it's something expensive! Oh, take this. <sighs> What's that? Cody, 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 Cody. Uh, what, what? I think I hear Santa Claus. Uh, you do? Yeah, I think I hear Santa Claus. Well, are you sure it's not Chef Pee Pee? Oh, hold on, hold on. No, Chef Pee Pee's sleeping. Oh, well, let's go see what it is. Yeah, let's go see it. Cody, look! Santa Claus! Oh my god, he's really here! God, where's my phone? Hello? What do you want, Darrell? I'm trying to rob this house real quick! Look, I'll come and pick you up after I get done robbing this house, alright? Dang, alright! Uh, Junior, I don't think that's Santa Claus. What do you mean? Because he just got a phone call from Durrell. Maybe that's one of his elves. Well, but he said he was gonna rob this house real quick. Well, well maybe that means he's almost done delivering the presents. Well, I think it means he's robbing the house. What, so you think we should call the cops? Well, yeah. Well, I, I don't think he's robbing the house. Man, I can't believe I'm robbing this house! <laughs> well, see, he said it again. Uh, well, let's go talk to him first before we call the cops. Okay. Okay, okay, I think that's everything. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Hey, Santa. Uh oh, hey, little kids. Uh, uh what are y'all doing up? Y'all supposed to be asleep. Are you robbing us? Uh, now, why would Santa rob y'all? Well, because you're taking our gifts instead of giving us gifts. Um, see, these gifts are broken. Look, I'm the South Pole Santa. I come to, uh, peace gifts. Mm-hmm. Oh, the South Pole Santa. Oh, God, this is hot. Santa just took his beard off. Uh, I thought Santa was white. See, now you're being racist. What? It's 2019. Santa can be black, Mexican, a toaster oven, anything you want to be. Sorry for offending you, Santa. Mm hmm No apology accepted. Uh, okay, um, well, uh, just have fun taking the gifts and fixing them. It's okay, uh, I'll go ahead and fix it and I'll bring it back to y'all. That, that's not Santa Claus. That's not Santa Claus. He's robbing us. Let's call the cops. Yeah. Hello? Hey there. You called the cops on Christmas Eve? Yeah, we were robbed! Oh no. By who? Uh, a Santa Claus of the darker complexion. <sighs> yep, that's him. Alright, show me. See, officer, look, he stole all our presents! Yeah, let me guess. He told you he was the South Pole Santa, too. Yeah, he said all our presents were broken and he had to go fix them. Yeah, he's been doing that all over town. He just wanted to steal your presents. Well, why don't you stop him? Well, we've been trying for years, but we haven't been able to. Until tonight! 
What are you gonna do? Oh, we're gonna set up a fake house for him to rob, so when he shows up, we arrest him. Ooh, can, can I see? Yeah, sure, come on, kid. Uh, but not you. All right, so this is where we're doing the sting operation. We got a real nice Christmas tree set up with a whole bunch of expensive presents under it because he loves to steal expensive presents. So when he comes in to steal the presents, we're gonna arrest him. No, no, see, he's way stronger than me, so he'd probably just beat me up. Well, why don't you pull out your little pew pew thing? Oh, oh, my, uh, my G-U- <coughs> N. Yeah, that. Yeah, no, I don't have it anymore. See, I, I was making a TikTok in my car, listening to some rap music and waving it around, and the chief saw it and he took it away from me. Oh, so, so how are we gonna catch him then? Well, I'm gonna show you. Come on. All right, so this is how we're gonna stop the South Pole Santa. Taser cookies. Taser cookies? Yeah, they're exactly what they sound like. You take one bite into them, they shock you. 100,000 volts right in the mouth. But how about you gonna hurt them? Well, it's gonna hurt them a lot. Watch, check but, this out. You wanna hurt yourself? <laughs> Uh, see, tell the cookie. My mouth hurts so bad right now. Uh, uh. And if he uh, if he dips the cookies in the milk first, he's probably gonna die. W why, why would it kill him? Well, you know, because electricity and liquid don't go so good together. Now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait for him to show up and hope he eats the cookies. All right, that sounds like a good plan to me. Come on. Ho, 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 ho! Oh, oh, these presents got to go! Back to my crib! Ooh, ooh this one sounds good. I like this. Like this one? Oh, I like this. Oh, oh, oh got out yeah, here. Look at him stealing all the presents. Like he did at my house. Yeah, we just need to get him to eat the cookies. Okay, he looks like I can go. Oh, he's leaving. Well, he didn't eat the cookies. Uh, uh, hey, there's cookies in the kitchen. Wait, who said that? Cookies? Oh, I want me some cookies, okay. Mm -mm -mm. I love me some cookies. Oh, can't wait to have one. Wait. Chocolate chip? I'm allergic to chocolate chip. Uh, they're, they're raisin. Oh, well, thank you, random voice. Hmm, I'll eat me a raisin cookie. Finally, we finally caught you, South Pole Santa. Yeah, stealing our presents. All right, now you're under arrest. Uh, 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 Come here, put your hands behind your back. Uh, 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 well, kid, thanks to you, we caught the South Pole Santa. Well, really, I did all the work. You were just kind of there, so I, I take back my thank you. Well, I didn't get to see any of it. And anyway, where's all our presents? Do we get those back? Oh, no. No, we had to take those. Those are evidence. I mean, you might get them back eventually, but I don't know. We might get them back, but I wanted presents! But I mean, hey, you have each other, right? And isn't that what Christmas is all about? You know, all that crap? Well, I'm gonna go home and open up my presents with my family. <sighs> Junior, wait, what's all the presents? Oh, someone broke in and stole them all. Wait, what? Yeah, but apparently we have each other and that's what Christmas is all about. Screw that, I want presents! Yeah, I'm gonna go home. I thought I was gonna get presents. Well, well Chef PB, at least we get to spend Christmas together. Oh, uh, no, I'm going to sleep, Junior. Oh, Chef PB, I guess we're not gonna get presents this year. I know, this sucks. <laughs> what was that? What's that? No. Santa Claus? <laughs> uh, Santa Claus? Oh, hey, what's up? Pooby Claus! That's me. You saved Christmas, you brought me back my presents! Well, that's what I do. Thank you, Pooby Claus! Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, Dad? Do you see this donut right here? I didn't know we had donuts. Junior, don't interrupt me. I was explaining something. God. Sorry, Dad. Shut up, Junior! Okay. Do you see this donut right here? Yeah. This is my very last donut. I don't want anybody to touch it because I'm going to eat it. Well, why don't you eat it right now? Because I'm not hungry, Junior. I'll eat it when I'm ready. Oh, uh, okay. God, look, I don't want anyone to touch this. This is my very last donut. So I wanted to still be here when I'm ready to eat it, okay? Okay. Huh? Chef Pee, Pee I think I'm gonna eat that donut. Junior, did you not just hear your dad? That's the last donut. He does not want you to eat it. Are you stupid? Chef Pee, Pee he ate the whole box. There's only one left, and I think he should share. And I think by him telling us not to eat it, he secretly wants us to eat it. You know what? That's some brilliant logic right there, Junior. I can't even argue. Okay, then I'm gonna eat it. But Junior, only if you want to get grounded. Grounded? Yes, you're going to get in trouble. Oh, okay, fine, Chef Pee, Pee. I won't eat the donut. I'll just hang out with you all day. 
What do you want to play? Video games? Checkers? Uh, J Junior, what about this pink icing? Oh, I wonder what it tastes like. Me too. Oh, is it strawberry? Strawberry. Cotton candy? Cotton candy. Oh, maybe it's bubble gum, Junior. They can't make it taste like bubble gum. We don't know, Junior. We can't be for sure. Oh, it's oh. a mystery, dude. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Oh, wait, no, Junior. You can't try it. That's your dad's last donut. Well, I want to know what it tastes like. Oh, wait, look at that yellow icing. What could it be? Oh, is it mustard? They would not put mustard on a donut. Junior, we can't be for sure right now. Oh, we can't try it. I want to try it so bad. Okay, Chef B, should I try it? Yes or no? Junior, I'm not going to say yes and I'm not going to say no. I'm just going to say live your life, baby. Live your life. Live your beautiful life. Oh. You know what? Here's a napkin, just in case you make a mess. Okay, I feel you, Chef PB. I'll live my life. I'll live my beautiful life. <laughs> now I get to lay back and watch the world fall apart. <laughs> Chef Bibi, Chef Bibi, I did what you said. I lived my life and I ate the donut. And the icing tastes like strawberry, not bubble gum. And that yellow stuff was not mustard. It was like lemon flavored icing. Oh, <laughs> Junior, you're so beautiful. <laughs> you beautiful idiot. What are you going to do when your dad finds out? Well, hopefully he won't find out. <laughs> Everybody get in the kitchen right now! Uh-oh. Oh, Junior, let's go and see what your dad wants. Oh, do you think he found out about the donut? Nah, no, Junior, you good, you good. <laughs> let's go and see what your dad wants. Okay. <laughs> yes, Bowser? Yeah, Dad? Someone ate my donut! I told you I wanted to eat the last donut! So you're gonna tell me who actually ate it! Well, Bowser, I think you know who actually ate your donut. Chevy, why is your neck twitching? Junior, did you eat my donut? No. Okay, so you both want to lie to me right now? Okay, I want you both to puke right in front of me so I can see the donut chunks in your puke. Well, Bowser, I'm not going to puke right in front of you. There's pink icing on Junior's face, and there's pink icing on your donut. Put two and two together. I didn't do it. Junior did it. Well, wait, why would you have a snitch, Chef Pee Pee? Okay, so you did it, Junior? No, I did not eat your donut, Dad. <sighs> You know what? I guess I'll never find out who ate my cotton candy flavored donut. It tastes like strawberry, not cotton candy, Dad. <laughs> I knew you ate it, Junior. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, you're in trouble now. Come with me, Junior. Oh, Chef <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> uh, Junior, you're grounded. Give me your phone. My phone? Oh, yeah. You're not going to have your phone for a whole month. Not even your toys. What? My toys? Oh, yeah, you don't need them. You're going to be in this room, and I better not see you leave it at all. Okay, Dad, I won't leave the room. No toys, no phone. I just stay in my stupid room. What's that sound? Hey, dude. Joseph. Hey, dude, let me in. Okay, hold on. Let me open the window. <sighs> Joseph, how'd you get up here? Did you climb? Yeah, dude, I climb here all the time to watch you sleep. Uh, oh, what are you doing here? Dude, I wanted to hang out. Well, I can't hang out, Joseph. I'm grounded. My dad took my phone, all my toys, and he said I had to stay in my room. Oh, dude, that sucks. Yeah. Hey, do you want to sneak out? What, sneak out? Yeah, dude, let's go and ding-dong ditch some houses. That sounds so fun, but I'm grounded. If my dad sees me out of my room, I'll be super grounded, but I don't think he's going to come check on me. Yeah, I'm going to sneak out. Let's go hang out. Yeah, come on, dude. Okay. <laughs> Oh, man, I can't believe I'm sneaking out. Good job, Joseph. Here's your cash. Thanks, Junior's dad. What's going on? I paid your friend to see if you were going to sneak out, and you're dead. Now you're more grounded, Junior. Well, Joseph, why would you do this? Uh, dude, I needed the cash. I haven't eaten in weeks. Oh, oh sorry, dude. Oh, dad. Come on, now it's time to go back in the house. Uh -oh. uh, Junior, I don't even know what I'm going to do with you now. I'm taking your phone, I'm taking your toys, and you still want to get in trouble. You know what? There's only one thing I can take now. What is that? Get out! What? Get out of your room! I'm taking your room! My room? Yeah, I need this room now. Get out! But you already have a room. Well, now I have two, Junior. Well, uh, but where am I gonna sleep? Go and sleep on the couch where losers sleep. Like Chef Pee Pee. Uh, on the couch? I, I wanna sleep in my bed, though. Well, you're not gonna sleep in your bed. It's my bed now, loser! Uh, 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 okay. Yeah. I actually like this bed. Three, two, one. Ah, Chef Pee Pee! <laughs> what do you want, Junior? My dad grounded me! Oh, yeah, I could hear the yelling. He took away my phone. Uh-huh. He took away my toys. Uh-huh. And then he kicked me out of my room. Ooh, that's new. Yeah, and he said I had to sleep on the couch with you. What? No, 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 no way. You can't sleep on the couch with me. There's three other couches. Sleep on the red one. Well, I would, well my dad said I had to sleep on the couch with you, and I like to cuddle. No, no, there's no cuddling, Junior. I'm laying here by myself. Well, my dad said I had to sleep on the couch with you, and I'm going to listen to what my dad said, so I'm sleeping on the couch on whatever you sleep on. God, look, just don't look at me. Mm. Oh, I want some cover. <sighs> Guess I'm sleeping without covers tonight. 
Um, Chef Pee Pee? What? Um, can you read me a bedtime story? No, no, I'm not reading you a bedtime story, Junior. Shut up! Um, Chef Pee Pee? What, Junior? What? What if stars don't exist? What if they're just airplanes that got stuck in the air because they ran out of gas? You know what? I'm going to talk to your dad. I can't do this. Bowser! Junior said that you grounded him, took his room, and now he has to sleep on the couch with me. Well, yeah. Well, that has to change, Bowser. Your son is annoying and he's ugly. I can't sleep with him. Well, I'm not giving him his room back. Oh, Bowser, can I have this room then? No, I like this room. Well, can I have your old room? No, I like that room too. Oh, come on, Bowser. This isn't fair. Well, Chef Pee Pee. It looks like you just want your own bed. So if you can make sure that you watch Junior and he doesn't escape out of his room, I can make sure you get a bed. <gasps> really? Oh, this sounds like a deal, Bowser. Okay, that's a deal then. <laughs> <laughs> Junior, buddy, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> Shut baby, why are you so happy? Well, it looks like I'm about to get my own bed, Junior. You're gonna get your own bed and not me? Mm-hmm. It's because I've been a good boy and I don't eat other people's donuts and go sneaking out of the house. Oh, I want my bed back. <laughs> Look, Junior, let me teach you something. You can't be sneaking outside of the house. You don't know what's dangerous out there. Anything could be waiting on you. Like, like what? Uh, it, Godzilla could pop up and eat you. I, I thought he was in Japan. Well, well, he comes to Florida all the time on vacation. He does? Mm-hmm. Or, or the earthquake could open up and you fall in a hole. Oh. And just you stay there forever. Oh, I don't want that to happen. Yep, so you better not sneak out ever again. Chef Pee your room's ready! <gasps> it looks like my bed's ready, Junior. I want you to see it. Come on. Okay. All right, guys. Here's your new bed. Whoa! Wait, Bowser. I didn't want bunk beds. I wanted my own bed. Well, you got one. It's the bottom bunk with the pink sheets. Because you whine like a little girl. No, Bowser, I'm not sleeping in the same room with Junior. Oh, yes, you are. Look, we agreed, as long as you watch Junior and make sure he doesn't sneak out, that I will get you a bed. And I got you one, so be grateful. A lot of people have to sleep on couches. Oh, come on. <laughs> Whoa, Chef Pee Pee, this is the coolest bed ever. Oh, my God, it's Thomas. I love it, Chef Pee Pee. Don't you love it? Oh, kill me, please, right now, please. Oh, I'm so high up. Oh, Chef Pee Pee, can I touch the ceiling fan? You know what? Go for it, Junior. Go for it. Go, Junior, go. Go, Junior, go. Oh, okay, hold on. Before I touch it, I'm going to throw this ball at it. Junior, stop throwing stuff. You're going to break the fan, and then it's going to be hot in here and sweaty. Oh, my gosh, Chef Pee Pee, it's so cool. Don't you love that we're sharing a bed together? No. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, good night, Chef Pee Pee. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Junior. Uh, should I pee pee? Why, Junior? Um, I forgot. Go to sleep, Junior! Okay! Oh, this bed is so squeaky. Junior, what are you doing? Uh, jumping on the bed. For what? Uh, I don't You're know. not a monkey! Well, I like jumping on the bed! It's dark, Junior! Go to sleep! Please! Okay! Go to sleep. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Junior, what? I love you. <laughs> okay, we'll work on that. <sighs> so, guys, what do you want to do today? Junior? Yeah, whatever you want to do, dude. Guys, you want to see the new toy my dad bought me? Yeah. Oh, totally, dude. Oh, it's awesome. Check this out. It's a remote control helicopter. Oh, sick. Oh, but it's so awesome, bro. Yeah. Have you flown it yet? No, I want to wait for you guys to see it. Okay. We'll fly it. Okay. <laughs> it's a controller right here. Oh, can I fly it first? Well, Cody, it's my toy. I kind of wanted to fly it first. Oh, okay. But you can fly it first. Oh, really? Thanks, Junior. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't really know how to fly it, though. I think you just press a button. I don't know how to fly it either. Wait, you don't know how to fly it? I haven't played with it yet. I just got done charging for the first time. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, oh, Junior, the fan is on. We should probably turn that off so I don't crash into it. No, it's fine. Just fly around it. Really? Uh, okay. Yeah, just fly, dude. Yeah, fly it. All right. Everybody stand back. Okay. <laughs> Yeesh. Ooh, 
Cody! Sorry, Junior. Did you just break my toy? I don't know. Dude, what are you gonna do if you actually broke his toy? I didn't mean to. <sighs> Dude, that's destroyed! I know! Cody, look what you did! I didn't know what I was doing! You didn't know what you were doing? No. Then why'd you say, ooh, Junior, let me fly your helicopter? I fly helicopters all the time. I love flying helicopters. Junior, I never said that. You said my dad's a helicopter pilot. He lets me fly his helicopters. J Junior, you know my dad's not a helicopter pilot. I wouldn't say that. And I never even got to play with it. I was about to fly it for the first time, and then you grabbed the controller like a wild animal and said, I'm gonna fly it for the first time. Well, I didn't do that, Junior. I asked you nicely if I could play with it, and then you said no and immediately said yes for some reason. And then you crashed it on purpose right into the ceiling fan. And I don't know why you didn't turn off the ceiling fan. Junior, I asked you if we should turn off the ceiling fan, and you said no. No, you said, Junior, it's really hot in here. I'm not gonna turn off the ceiling fan. But, Junior, did you hit your head or something? I didn't say any of these things. You broke my toy on purpose, and I want you to admit it. I didn't break it on purpose. So you're saying it's not broken? No. Well, let, let, let me see. Let me see. Let me see if it's broken. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. It's not flying. Wait, Cody, why isn't it flying? Because it's broken. Wait, why is it broken? Be because it flew into the ceiling fan. And who flew into the ceiling fan? I did, but by accident. You broke it on purpose. You said, I love breaking Junior's toys. Here's what you're going to do. We're either going to stop being friends, or you have to admit, hey, my name's Cody, and I like breaking toys on purpose because I hate Junior. Well, Junior, I'm not going to say that, so I guess we're going to stop being friends. Well, I don't want to be a friend anymore because you broke my toy. Okay, I don't want to be your friend either. Yeah, well, get out of here, loser, idiot, stupid, dumb. Yeah, all those names. Dude, it, it was an accident, dude. Shut up, Joseph. I'm going to stop being your friend, too. No, dude, you're the only friend I have now. Yeah. Come on, you're everything to me. Yeah, okay, then you better not take Cody's side. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you broke my toy. It's all broken. I should probably just bury it in the backyard with my 15 pet goldfishes. <sighs> all right, Joseph, go home. I'll see you at school tomorrow. Okay, dude. I can't believe Cody broke my toy on purpose. You know what? I'm gonna call the cops on him. I'm gonna call the cops on him. Uh, hello? Hey there, somebody call the police? Yes, officer, it's an emergency. Come inside. Okay. All right, Mr. Police Officer Man, I need to file a police report immediately. Okay, about what? My friend, I mean ex-friend, broke my toy helicopter on purpose. He flew it into the ceiling fan. No, well, that was mean. I know. Isn't he mean and stupid and ugly? It, yeah, yeah, I guess. And so I want you to arrest him for destruction of property. Well, well, how old is your friend? Two. I mean, he acts like he's two. Okay, well, I can't arrest a two-year-old for anything. Well, he's not two. He's like 11, I think. I, I don't know how old he is. Yeah, I'm still not arresting him. Well, but, but he destroyed my toy! Yeah, but it's just a toy. Oh, okay, so if I got your police car and crashed it into a wall, what would you do? Okay, that would be a very different situation, and you would probably go to jail for that. So why does he go to jail for breaking my toy? Because it's just a toy. But I want justice! Okay, you know what I want? Ice cream. And I have it in my freezer at home. Ben and Jerry's Americone Dream. It's delicious. It's chocolate-covered waffle cone pieces and vanilla ice cream with a caramel swirl. Mmm, delicious. You know what? I'm actually gonna go eat that right now because I don't really care about this that much. But, but, but it's my toy! I need a new one! Dude, it's like 20 bucks. Just buy another one. Well, it's $30! Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Not even the police care! Stupid toy! <sighs> I hate Cody, and I'm gonna hate him for the rest of my life! I'm gonna go to bed at school tomorrow. Uh, I hate school. Oh, hey, Junior. Oh, hey, ugly. What are you doing here? Following me? Well, first off, I was here first, and also, this is school. I have to be here. Of course you're at school, because you're a nerd. What, you're here too, Junior. Oh, you guys are so annoying. Right, Joseph? Cody's voice is so annoying. No, Junior, he means we're annoying. Yeah, yeah, you're weird and annoying. You just said it. What, junior, just shut up and turn around. You can't tell me what to do, Cody. Shut up and turn around, Junior. I don't know what you're gonna do if I turn around. You might hit me in the back or something. Believe me, Junior, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Okay, just don't look at me. You're looking at me! Well, I'm not looking at you, Junior. I'm looking at the board. You're just in front of me. No, you're staring at me. Look around me. <sighs> Stop checking me out, Cody! I'm not checking you out, Junior. I'm looking at the board! <laughs> Teacher! Cody won't stop staring at me! Shut up, class! I do not care! Anyway, today you're gonna be doing a solar system project. A project of the solar system. And it must include all the planets. So, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus. Ha ha ha. Uranus? I bet you like that, Cody. I do, actually. It's my favorite planet. You know what? <laughs> nice throw, loser. <sighs> Can you scoot over a little bit? Yeah. Ow! Ow! That's it! Junior, you and Cody stop it right now! Sorry, teacher. Cody is just so ugly. Well, he was throwing paper balls at me. No, I wasn't. Cody's lying. That's it. It's on. Well, yeah. Dude! Oh, that is it, class! Junior, Cody, since you can't stop arguing, then I'm assigning you two as partners for the Solar System Project. The Project of the Solar System! What? 
work with four eyes? Yes, Junior and Cody are going to be partners on the solar system project. This is a two person project. <laughs> Junior? <laughs> Gross. I don't want to be partners with Cody. I want to be partners with Joseph. And I want to be partners with Cody. But Cody? Yeah, he's smart, dude. See, Junior, I'm smart. All right, class. Fine. Junior, Joseph, and Cody can all be partners. It's now a three-person project. Yes, that means me and Joseph get to work on the project. No, me and Joseph get to work on the project. No, me and Joseph get to work on the project. No, me and Joseph get to work on the project. No, me. Joseph get to work on the project. No, me and Joseph get to work on the project. No, me and Joseph get to work on the project. No, me and Joseph get to work on the project. No, me and Joseph get to work on the project. Do we all gotta work together? But but mostly me and you get to work together, right? Oh uh, sure! No, 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 me and you though. Uh, all right, Crass, the solar system project is due tomorrow, so make sure you include all the planets. And remember, it's 50% of your grade. I'll see you tomorrow. So, Joseph, how do you want to do this project? But Junior, I'm part of the project, too. Ew, Joseph, you get in the middle. Wait, why, dude? I don't want to be by the nerd. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, guys, so what are we going to do for our project? Hey, Joseph, I'm hungry. Me and you should go in the kitchen and eat something. Oh, dude, let's do it. You know I'm always hungry. Guys, we should probably get started on the project. Joseph, do you hear something annoying? Uh, no, but Cody's trying to talk to you. Yeah, Cody's the annoying guy. I don't want to hear Cody talk. Oh. G guys, we need to get the project done. Hey, Joseph, let's go in the kitchen and let me and you get something to eat. Oh, let's do it, dude. I, I, I I want to eat too. Hey, Chef Bibi! What? Uh, I wasn't sleeping, you were sleeping. What? what? No, no, nothing? What, what do you want? Can you go get me and Joseph something to eat? Uh, what? What do you want? What kind of food? Uh, can you go get me and Joseph a Happy Meal? Just you guys? Just yeah. you two? Yeah, yeah, just me and Joseph. Only me and Joseph. Just us two. Not Cody. Definitely not Cody. Cody's not here. <sighs> okay, I'll get your stupid Happy Meals. Yeah, just me and Joseph. Only me and Joseph. All right, Junior and Joseph, here's your Happy Meals. Oh, man, Chef Bibi, you got me and Joseph, not you, Happy Meals. Why are you talking like that? Wait, where's my Happy Meal? Wait, Cody? Junior didn't tell me you were here. Oh, yeah, I bet he did it. Wait, do you want something to eat, dude? Yes. No. I, yes, I do. No, he doesn't. I actually, He's not hungry. Well, what's going on, guys? All right, Chevy, this is what's happening. Cody's on a diet. No, I'm not. And every time he tries to eat, we have to try to stop him. <sighs> Look, I don't care about this, okay? Leave me alone. Junior, I didn't say that. I am hungry. Oh, I, mis I misunderstood you then. Junior, I have to eat something. Okay, well, you can eat this meow mix then. Junior, I'm not eating meow mix. But it's real food. Look, it says it's made with real chicken and beef sauce. Junior, I don't care. It's cat food. I'm not eating it. Okay, we well can either eat this or the helicopter that you broke. But Junior, I didn't mean to break it. Well, I didn't mean to tell Chef Bibi that you weren't here. But yes, you did. All right, all right, Joseph. How about we eat our food and start our project, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love nuggets. Oh, man, Joseph, now that our bellies are full of Happy Meals. And cat food. Now we can start on our project. So, Joseph, what do you think we should use as planets for our project? Ooh, I had an idea. <sighs> I thought we could use these foam balls and paint them to look like planets. Oh, dude, that sounds like fun. That sounds like lame. You know what we should use? We should use M&Ms. Ooh, look at all the colorful planets. Oh, dude, that's way more fun and tastier. Yeah, you get to eat them. And also, look, they have M's on them. It stands for Mars. Wait, wait, the letters are already on it? Yeah, there's M's for Mars and, and, and Mercury. All, all the planets. What? Where's the J for? Jupiter. What? Yeah, where's the J on the M&Ms for Jupiter? They didn't make one for Jupiter, Cody. There's only M's for M&Ms. Yeah, Mars and Mercury. Y yeah, yeah, we're using M&Ms. They're cool. And they're already different colors. We don't have to paint them like your stupid idea. Yeah. Well, at least these are shaped like planets, and they're bigger. Well, these are shaped like planets, and also these are tastier. Mm -hmm. well, our project's not supposed to be tasty, Junior. It's supposed to be accurate. Well, these are accurate. They have all the colors for all the planets. Like, like there's the sun. It's yellow. That's a planet. And then we got blue for Earth, mm -hmm. and then we got orange for Jupiter, and red for uh, Mars. 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 Yeah, yeah, Mars. Yeah, that's yeah. Mars. Junior, I think we should just use these. Okay, how about this? How about we just do two different projects? You do your own project, and we do our project that's cooler and way better and without you. Well, then it wouldn't be a group project. We're supposed to be in it together. We're, no, uh, no, no, we're not. I didn't hear the teacher say we have to be together. Joseph, did you hear the teacher say we have to be together? Yeah. What? Uh, no, 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 never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. See, look. Well, so me and Joseph will be in our own cool, the cool group, the cool group without Cody, and you'll be in the lame nerdy group. But, but then we're gonna have two projects. Yeah. So then we'll choose which project is better at the end, and it's gonna be ours because ours is cooler. Yeah. Because we got M and M. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I'm gonna work on mine by myself, and whoever finishes first wins. And I'm warning you, Junior. I always finish first. All right. Whatever, Cody. Stupid nerd. All right, Joseph, he's right. The M&Ms are kind of too small, so we need to go find some better planet stuff, okay? Okay, let's do uh, it. We'll go around the house and find stuff. All right. All right, Joseph, I think we're done with our solar system project. Dude, it looks so awesome. Yeah, it does. Hey, guys, how's the project going? Oh, hey, don't touch it. No, sorry. Hey, hey, Cody, are you here to steal our idea? No. 
Well then, why are you here? Well, because I wanted to see what you did. Well, we're done, so look at it. Wait, this is done? I thought it was just a collection of trash and sports equipment. No, it's done. Look at it. Read it and weep. Uh, yeah. Okay, the sun is a basketball. Yeah, because it's orange. Uh, okay, and Jupiter is a Pokeball? Yeah, because Jupiter has a big spot, so there's the spot for Jupiter. Uh, all right. Uh, wait, you spelled Earth wrong, and why is Earth a tennis ball anyway? Because Earth's covered in grass, and tennis balls feel like grass, kind of. Uh, okay. Okay, sure. Uh, wait, why is Saturn a football? Where are the rings? Where are the rings? Ask Tom Brady! Hi, I'm Tom Brady. I won six Super Bowls. Oh, get out of here, Tom. W was that really Tom Brady? Yeah, and he helped us with our project. Isn't it sick? W wait, Junior, w why is there a little blue M&M over there? Oh, that's Pluto. W J Junior, Pluto's not a planet. Yes, it is. But, but no, it's not. Yes, it is. It, it, it's really not, Junior. Oh, okay, well, yeah, whatever. Go do be wrong on your project. Wait, well, I'm actually done with my project. Wait, you are? Uh, you started on it? Uh, I didn't just start. I finished. What, finished? Yeah, uh, yeah, come check it out. Uh, uh, all right, Joseph, uh, even if it's good, laugh at it. Okay, I got you, bro. All right, guys, this is my project. Dude, this is so sick! This is the coolest project i ever seen! Uh, I mean, it's I. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I mean, I rushed it, so it could be better, but I wrote facts about all the planets, so I think it's pretty good. Well, I think it's dumb. What? Yeah, I think it's stupid. Like, why is the sun, like, half a circle? It's not a full circle. Well, I did that so it would stick to the board. And why are these stars so close to the planets? Stars aren't that close to planets. Well, they're supposed to be the labels for the planets. And that rocket ship is, like, bigger than Earth. It's just dumb. I think it's stupid. Wait, wait. I think it's pretty cool, dude. What? Yeah, it's way better than that stupid project. We should turn this one in. What? Yeah, we should turn in mine. But, 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 but I like Ours. No, I'm throwing away ours, dude. I'm going to go ahead and throw it away right now. What? Yeah, Joseph, you're right. We should throw away Junior's garbage project. Well, no, ours is cool, Joseph. <sighs> this one is pretty cool, but I'm not going to let Cody know that. You know what? I'm going to destroy it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to destroy it. All right, Joseph. Let's pick up our project and take it to school. Okay, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? Yeah. Dude! Yeah. Well, what's wrong, guys? What? Junior, what did you do? What did I do? I didn't do anything. Oh, really? Because it looks like someone took a mallet and smashed my project, and there's the mallet over there. Oh, guys, I think I know what happened. I think somebody broke in through that window and then smashed your project with a mallet. What, someone? You mean you? Well, I wouldn't do this. I don't break other people's stuff like you did to my helicopter. But, Junior, I told you that was an accident. Okay, well, then this was an accident. I accidentally smashed your project with a mallet. Wait, wait so you would you did it? Well, I was blindfolded and I was walking around the room swinging my mallet and I smashed the project accidentally. Wait, Junior, school starts in 20 minutes. We need something to turn in. Well, we could just turn in me and Joseph's project. No, dude, I just threw that away. Well, you threw it away? Yeah, last night, dude. Uh, uh, uh okay, well then, uh. Dude, I am not showing up for school. Oh, I'm out of here. Uh, 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 Junior, we're gonna turn something in. We're gonna fail. Oh, uh, uh, okay. But maybe we can turn this in. Wait, we can't turn this in, Junior. You destroyed it. Well, okay. Well, it was an accident, so don't think I did it on purpose. Well, Junior, you still did it. Okay. Well, then uh, I'll figure something out. Okay, you better figure something out because school is starting. I I'll meet you at school. Uh, what am I gonna do? You know what? This is all Cody's fault because if you wouldn't have broke my helicopter, I wouldn't have broke his project. So you know what? I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. All right, class, I hope you all did your solar system project. Now I'm going to come around and grade your project. All right, Jeffy, explain your project. Oh, um, okay. Well, there's the sun, and, oh, well, that's all I know. Oh, it looks like crap. C minus. Okay, Junior, so what are we going to tell the teacher when he finds out we don't have a project? We're just going to tell him that you're really ugly and it was distracting us from doing the project. All right, Junior and Cody. Where's your project, and where's Joseph? Joseph's missing, but we didn't do our project because Cody's big nose kept getting in the way. But no, I did the project, and then Junior destroyed it. I didn't destroy it. It was destroyed to begin with. It looked ugly. All right, listen. I don't care. You know have your project, you fail. You fail because you know have your project. So tell Joseph he failed too. Well, we failed. Junior, I have never failed anything in my entire life. You failed at not being annoying, because you're always annoying. Ugly. Whatever, Junior. My parents are going to lose it when they find out about this. Uh, hello? Hey there, is your daddy home? Ew, Cody, what is you and your pig mom doing here? You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. What, what, Cody, why is your mom here? She saw my grades. Yeah, and mommy ain't happy. And when mommy ain't happy, people get messed up. And I don't know who it's gonna be. Now get out of my way! Uh, there she is, Dad! She just barged in the house! What do you want, crazy lady? Well, my son told me that your son made him fail a school project. And my baby never fails anything. He gets straight A's. Okay. Well, Junior fails all the time. He's a failure at life. You tell her, Dad. I got your back, son. Well, I'm the mama bear. And this is my little cub. And when you mess with the cub, you get the claws! Okay, so what do you want? 
Well, it seems like our sons have been arguing, and it needs to stop right now. What did you do, Junior? I didn't do anything. It's what he did. Look what he did. You know the helicopter you bought me? He broke it. <gasps> Ooh, I paid thirty dollars for that. Yeah, and he broke it on purpose, and he didn't even say he was sorry. What? That's the first thing I said. Well, no, I never heard you say you're sorry. So say sorry again. What? No, I'm not gonna say it again. Say it again. Uh, Cody, listen, I have some advice for you. Sometimes in life, you just gotta swallow things to get by. So today, you're gonna have to swallow your pride. <sighs> okay, mom. <sighs> Junior, I'm sorry I flew your helicopter into the ceiling fan. On purpose? On purpose. Okay, Cody. Well, I guess I'm sorry that I broke your project with a mallet. Okay, thank you. Well, there you go. It's settled. This is stupid. I'm gonna go back and watch my TV show. Oh, Cody, I guess we're glad that we're friends again. I guess it's just a stupid toy. Yeah. All right, now you two have fun. Mommy has to go swallow a whole bunch of her pride to go pay the light bill. See you later, Cody. Yeah! Today, we're going to be having a crass president erection. If you become crass president, you get to make any rule for the crass that you want. And I can't say anything about it. So which one of you wants to be the crass president? Ooh, I want to be class president. Junior, do not take this erection from me. I want to be class president. Well, I want to be class president. Well, you're too stupid to be class president. Well, you're too dorky to be class president. I want to hey, be class president. Hey! 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 Hush! I don't want to be class president. Well, you can't be class president because I want to be class president. 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 Settle down, settle down, class. There can only be one class president. That's why we're having erection, okay? It's going to be a long, hard process for my erection. So I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose two people to have erection. It's going to be uh, Cody and Jeffy. You guys come up to the crass and be part of my erection and tell the crass why they should vote for you as crass president. All right, I'm gonna go first. All right, prepare to lose. All right, if you guys elect me as class president, then there will be no more homework ever again. Homework will be illegal. No, 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 I actually think we should have homework because we might forget the stuff we learned at school and we have to keep learning because learning is power. Who's with me? Junior, don't throw paper balls at me. All right, change your plans. If I'm elected class president, then all the homework that we get will go to this guy because he likes it so much. <laughs> Okay, okay, how about this? Watch this. How about if I'm elected class president, we're gonna have healthier school lunches, like celery, so that means no more pizza. Junior, stop throwing things! Well, if I'm elected class president, then every day will be pizza day. There will be pizza parties every single day. Your desk will be made out of pizza. You will even be made out of pizza. No, no, no. Okay, okay, how about this, how about this? If I'm elected class president, uh, you don't have to wear clothes to school anymore. So, so like, you, you know how long it takes to get dressed in the morning? What, what, you, you don't have to do that. You can just come naked. And, and no girls allowed. Well, if I'm elected class president, you won't even have to come to school anymore! Yeah. Yeah. But then you won't be president of anything. Oh, okay, 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 how about this? Uh, uh, if, you, if you fail a test, you can retake it! How about, how about that? Well, if I'm elected class president, you won't even have tests anymore! Oh. But, but you can't just do that. All right, class, I've heard enough. So who do you guys want to be the class president? So who wants Jeffy for president? Jeffy! 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 Who wants Cody for president? Yeah! Oh, you suck! All right, class, we have a winner. Jeffy has won erection and he is now your class president. Yeah. Yay! Hey Mario, how do you think Jeffy's stay at school is going? It must be going pretty good. I mean, we haven't gotten a call from his teacher saying he's suspended for anything, like pooping his pants or biting another student. Hey Jeffy, how was your day at school? Daddy, you can't call me Jeff anymore. You have to call me Mr. Class President. Jeffy, you got class president? I sure did, Mommy. All the kids in class said I was the smartest kid, and now I'm the class president. This, this must be something like a pity award or like a Make-A-Wish Foundation thing. Mario. What the, why would they vote Jeffy class president? Like, what are you even going to do for the class? Well, dang, the first thing I did was cancel school. So now I never have to go to school ever, ever again. Jeffy, you can't make those rules. You can't just cancel school. 
Yes, I can, because I'm the class president. No, Jeffy, the only way you could cancel school is if you were the real president. Well, how do I get to be the real president? You can't. You can't because you're a kid and you're just too stupid to be the president. Hey, Mario, speaking of the president, isn't it election day today? Oh, it is. Let's turn on the news and see how it's going. <sighs> Breaking news, okay? The President of the United States has something to say before the election tonight. Let's go to that. When I, Donald J. Trump, is re-elected President again, we do not want to share the moon with anyone ever again, okay? So what I will do when I'm re-elected is I will hire Space Force to build a wall, a huge wall, around the moon. So then it will be our moon and all the other countries will pay for that wall. A wall around the moon? Daddy, can I do stupid stuff like that? No, Jeffy, you can only do stupid stuff like that if you're the president. Well, I want to be president. Jeffy, you'll never be president, ever. Mario, Jeffy can do anything he sets his mind to. Thanks, Mommy. Well, no, he'll never be president. He cannot be president. He can set his mind to as much as he wants, but he'll never be president. <laughs> Who's at the door? Hold on. Uh, hello? Hey, man. Uh, hey, I, I got a really huge problem, and I, I need your help. W what is it? Well, hey, can I come inside? Because it's, like, November, and it's freezing out here, and I'm just wearing short sleeves and no pants. Uh, yeah, sure, come on inside. Okay. All right, so what's the problem? Well, this is going to sound kind of silly, but you know how there's an election today? Yeah. Yeah, well, we lost the other guy. What do you mean you lost the other guy? I mean, we don't know where he is. Like, like we were playing hide-and-seek, and we just never found him, so he's just, like, gone now. Okay, so then why are you here? Well, I'm here to try to find somebody who wants to run for president and try to beat Trump in this election, and I was kind of hoping that'd be you. Me? Why me? Because you're Mario! Everybody loves you! You know, they recognize you from the games, and they'll be like, oh, it's that guy! Well, I can't run for president because I wasn't born in America. Oh, okay. Well, what about you? I'm from outer space. What? Okay, is anybody here from America? Right here. Well, how old are you? Sixteen. Uh, okay, we just won't tell anyone. Well, no, Jeffy cannot run for president. Well, look, he's the best I have right now. Um, I gotta say something. If I poop in a strainer, it makes poop spaghetti. See, look, he cannot be president of the country. Uh, it'll work. Okay, okay, Jeffy, uh, come with me. You're gonna go debate the president. Okay. Well, no, no, no! Hello and welcome to the presidential debate. Tonight, we have President Donald Trump versus Jeffy. All right, I'm going to ask both of you questions, so just answer those as best you can. Mr. President, we'll start with you. Why should you be re-elected president? So, they should elect me president because I'm already president and I'm already living in the White House, okay? And so, if they didn't re-elect me, it would take me approximately like four years to move all my knickknacks and patty wax and give a doggy bone out of the White House. It would take billions upon billions of boxes to get all of my stuff out of there. So to make it easier on me, Donald J. Trump, you should just re-elect me president so I don't have to move all my stuff out of the office. All right. Now, Jeffy, your turn. Same question. Why should you be elected president? Wrong. M Mr. President, pl please don't interrupt. He, he hasn't even said anything, so he, he can't be wrong yet. You should vote for me for president because if I was president, I would ban all school. No kid would ever have to go to school ever again, and they get to stay home and play video games all day. Also, I would ban green beans and make them illegal because you're disgusting and icky, and I I hate green beans! First of all, no one should ban green beans because no one has done more for green beans than I, Donald J. Trump, since the Jolly Green Giant. Shut up! Green beans need to be banned because they're disgusting and they're shaped like little green pee peas. Uh, wrong! Carrots are better! Wrong! No one likes green beans! Alright, 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 break it up you two. Alright, we're gonna go on to the next question. Now, Jeffy, 
In your opinion, what is the biggest problem in the world right now? The biggest problem in the world right now is Fortnite. Every time they update the seasons, it gets worse and worse. To be honest, I don't even recognize the game anymore. So let's make Fortnite great again. Ren. Oh, you actually like the dumb updates? All right, all right, all right. Okay, Mr. President, same question. What do you think is the biggest problem in the world right now? Okay, so the biggest problem in the world right now is that Legos are too small. Okay, this causes a choking hazard for billions upon billions of children every single day. Okay, so what I'm proposing is, is that we make these tiny, puny little Legos huge, okay? We're gonna call them huge blocks, okay? So, so kind of like mega blocks? I'm sorry, what? M M mega blocks. Oh, mega blocks, yes, that's exactly what I would call them. Mega blocks, because we would be making America great again one block at a time. No, no, they're, they're called mega blocks? Oh, uh, uh, th yes, this right here is exactly what I'm talking about. So, if you notice, to show you guys a little bit of a diagram, this is our border wall with the previous administration, and this is our border wall with my administration, the Trump administration. So, yeah, and also, these are the exact same blocks that I want the border wall around the moon to be built out of. So, the wall will be huge! I actually like the tiny Legos. The big ones are for babies. Wrong. Mr. President, could you please stop saying wrong? Wrong. All right, that is it for the presidential debate. Wrong. Okay, you know what, whatever, I'm, I'm going home. We're just gonna see who wins tonight. There's no way Jeffy wins the election tonight. Don't say that, Mario. We have to believe in him. I don't believe nobody would vote for him. <laughs> hey, hey, did they announce who won yet? No, they're about to. Oh, good. Breaking news, okay? The election results are in, and the next president of the United States is Jeffy. What's that mean? No way. Jeffy, you're president! Yippee! He did it! That crazy son of a gun actually did it! Jeffy, what are you gonna do now that you're president? Well, first of all, I get to poop wherever I want. Yes, you can, Mr. President. And you also get this, the nuclear football. What is that? Well, this will let you nuke just about anything. Well, the first thing I'm gonna nuke is all the green bean farms and all the schools. Well, no, 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 Jeffy, no, 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 you can't do that, because if you nuke that, you're gonna nuke our country and we're all gonna die. Well, it's a small price to pay for me to be happy. What? Well, no, no, Jeff, don't, 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 don't. Ah, run for your life! Ah! Goofy goober, yeah. I wish girls thought I was hot food. What? Do you just eat your grilled cheese? God! <sighs> oh. oh, I guess I just won't eat tonight since Chef Baby burned my food again. I really wish somebody could teach Chef Baby how to cook. Hey, idiots! Huh? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Do you have someone at home that thinks they know how to cook? Are they really bad at cooking? Well, hire me and I'll come tell them that they are absolutely trash at cooking. Might teach them a thing or two. Ooh, I should hire that guy to teach Chef Pee, Pee how to cook. Oh, I'm gonna call him right now. Okay, let me add a couple of eggs. Wait, wait, I can juggle these. Oh, they slipped. Hey, uh, Chef Pee, Pee? No, don't talk to me, Junior. You didn't even eat your grilled cheese sandwich and you almost burned the house down. Well, me? No, you're the one that uh, turned the grilled cheese on fire. Wait, wait, if you would've just ate your sandwich, the fire would've went out. Well, well Chef Pee, Pee, have you ever thought about taking cooking lessons? I thought about giving lessons? I'm a perfect chef. <laughs> People should take lessons from me every day. No, no I meant like getting 
cooking lessons. Like someone teach you how to cook. Wait, why would somebody teach me how to cook? I I'm perfect. Well, no, no, you're not, Chef Baby. You're really bad at cooking. Wait, wait, I'm not bad at cooking. I'm a god at cooking. Look, I came out of my mom's womb cooking. I was in her stomach with a spatula or whatever she was sticking up there. Well, well Chef Baby, look, I, I, I hired someone to give you cooking lessons. Wait, wait give me cooking lessons? Oh, I'll be giving them the cooking lessons. Who is it, Chef Boy RD? He wish he could be me. Well, no, it's someone you probably know. <laughs> Ooh, that's them right now. I'll go answer the door. Oh, whatever. Go get your little friend. Uh, hello? Who are you supposed to be? Uh, a turtle, I think. A turtle? You've got to be the fattest turtle I've ever seen. Go eat a Snickers, chunky boy. Uh, well, second thought, maybe I could chop you up into a nice turtle soup. Or maybe you'd compliment a nice tomato bisque with some coriander and basil. Mmm, delicious. Well, no, I didn't hire you to cook me. I hired you to teach my friend how to cook. Well, get out of the bloody way and show me to the kitchen, fat boy. Uh, okay. Mm -mm, it's almost done. All right, he's in here. Jesus Christ! Bend me over and check my rectal temperature. What in God's name's going on here? Oh my God! G -g 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 Gordon Ramsay, you're in my house, in my kitchen. Wait, what are you doing here? Well, I feel like I'm in a nightmare, and I'm Freddy Krueger, and that's worse than the Hiroshima bombings. What in God's name are you trying to make? Well, I was making macaroni noodles with a side of egg and marinara sauce. Chunky turtle boy, punch me in the gonads. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, I needed that. Oh, all right. What's your name? Chef Pee Pee. Chef Penis, get over here. Wait, no, no, no. It's Chef Pee Pee. Oh, I didn't stutter. Chef Penis, get over here now. Okay, okay. What do you want? You are bloody ow, disgraceful. Ow, ow. Wait, why are you hitting me? Is this raw egg all over your stove? Yes. That's a salmonella breeding ground. And how long has this bloody bar been out? Uh, it's been out for a couple of days. Three bloody days. Your disgraceful penis. You, you're going to get a biohazard suit on, and you're going to clean this kitchen top to bottom, and then you're going to burn it down, and then we're going to rebuild it from scratch. And maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to cook something edible. Disgraceful. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Is this clean enough? No, but I ain't got all night, and you need to learn how to cook badly. Hey, fat boy. Yeah? What's something you want to eat tonight? Uh, a cheeseburger. A cheeseburger. Do you think you can handle a burger? Well, you want me to cook it, like, right now? Duh! What, you think you're stupid? Are you dumb? Get to it! Oh, okay, God. And done. Oh, Gordon, it's ready! I don't want to hear my name come out of your disgusting mouth, penis! But, but, but it's ready! Alright, let's have a look. Jesus Christ! Is that my cremated grandmother? Grandma, is that you? Dirty old hag! What? No, it's not your grandmother. It's the burger that you asked me to make for Junior. Are you sure? You sure it's not a hockey puck? What? A hockey puck? Yeah, you be the goalie and I'll be the shooter. I'll teach you for bullying me. What? What? Uh. what? Penis, and let me show you how it's done. <laughs> All right, Tubby, here's your burger. What in God's name is this? Oh, it's the grilled cheese Chef Pippi made me earlier. Chef Wainerhead, get in here! I assume you are talking to me? Yeah, why don't you take some advice and buy a ticket to Hawaii and go over and put this rock back in the volcano where you got it from? It's not a rock, it's supposed to be a grilled cheese sandwich. Supposed to be, and you're supposed to be a chef. So why don't you run along, take that digger hole six feet under, and bury that in there along with your career. <laughs> All right, anyway, Faso. Here's your burger. Is it good? Is it good? This is a half pound Wagyu beef patty with freshly made Wisconsin chatter with freshly chopped romaine hearts, vine ripe tomatoes on a brioche bun. And you're asking me if it's good. I won't serve this to the Queen of England. So if it's not good, I'll chop my left leg off. All right, I'll try it. All right. <sighs> This is the greatest thing I've ever eaten. I bet it is. Chef Pee Pee! What is that ungodly noise? Chef Pee Pee, where's my dinner? Oh, good lord, an even fatter turtle. Wait, wait, who are you? I'm the guy trying to make your chef a better cook. Oh, thank God, about time. Dad, you have to let him cook for you. He's amazing. Wait, really? Yeah, let me go whip something up for you. Okay. All right, here you are. 
Oh my god, this looks delicious! What I've prepared for you this evening is a nice fillet of beef with mature feline emesis, paired beautifully with a nice fresh Maine lobster tail with red crayon shavings crayon. and broccolini. Oh, 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 wow, this actually looks edible! It is, Dad! Wait, it is? Yes. It is edible? It is. Wait, I can actually eat this and not get sick. You can. Oh my gosh, Chef PB never made anything that's edible. You know what? You're hired and he's fired. Well, I wasn't necessarily looking for a job. I, 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 too late. You already got the job. All right. Dad, you're really going to fire Chef PB? Oh yeah, watch me. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay thinks my cookie's so bad. It's not that bad. Chef PB! What do you want, Bowser? Oh, you're fired. Wait, why do you sound like that? Well, look, Chef PB, you're fired. Wait, why am I fired? Because that new Chef PB over there can cook way better than you. His food is actually edible. Wait, edible? You can actually eat it? Yes, he can actually eat it. Look, I didn't think it was possible until he started cooking up some stuff. So get out of here, scram, you can't cook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Chef PB, this is the last time you'll ever see this house. <sighs> I guess it's time to say my final goodbyes. Oh, goodbye, house. Ow! Bowser, what was that for? You know what? I hate this house. I'm never coming back. <laughs> What's wrong, Dad? Oh, Junior, the deed is done. What, you fired Chef Pee Pee? I took him out back and I shot him just like old Yeller. Oh, poor Chef Pee Pee. Oh, I yeah. mean, it was his time to be put down. Oh, yeah, it was. We, we got a good couple years out of him. He was a good dog. He was yeah, a good dog. Yeah, he was. Well, I mean, now we can actually eat edible food. I know, right? Now, I'll never get tired of this food. Well, me either. Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me grab the remote. Come on. Oh, I just fought it pretty good. All right, you fat sack of lard. There's some more lobster tails. Now eat up. Uh, Mr. Ramsey, I don't want any more lobster tails. You don't want any more lobster tails? I've never heard of such nonsense. Now eat your lobster tails. Can I please have something different? All right. Well, here's a blooming onion. Do you ever make anything bad? No, everything I make's delicious! Well, can I have a Happy Meal or something? A Happy Meal? What nonsense! I would never put that toxic waste in my body! Now eat your lobster tails! Uh, um, I, need, I need to lose some weight. I'm gonna... I'm gonna Uber eat some McDonald's or something. <laughs> I'm in my room, and I finally get to enjoy some McDonald's. Why is the door locked? Uh, Open this door. I'm coming. Open the bloody door. Oh, okay. Lobster tails. Oh, no, no, no I, I don't want any more lobster tails. Yes, lobster tails. No, I'm full. I, I don't want any lobster tails. What? Do I smell bloody McDonald's in here? No, that's that's just my farts. I farted. No, that's not what a lobster tail fart smells like. I'm coming in to check your room. No, no, no. Here I go. Oh, I gotta hide my McDonald's. Well, well, well. What have we got here? Uh, this is really old. I was, I was gonna throw it away. No, oh, I wouldn't know. Because all McDonald's food looks disgusting. And since it's over a month old, you wouldn't mind if I threw it away for you, would you? No, you, you, you could throw it away, but... All right, there but, we are. But what am I supposed to eat? Your lobster tails! But I don't want any more lobster tails. Well, it's a delicacy, and people would kill for it. So, eat your lobster tails. Oh, I hate Gordon Ramsay. I'm tired of eating lobster tails. I want McDonald's. Oh, I really miss Chef Pee Pee. At least I wasn't fat, because I would never eat, because his cooking sucked. I have to find a way to get rid of Gordon Ramsay. But my dad will never fire him, because my dad loves lobster tails. I have to call Chef Pee Pee and ask him for some help. Pee -pee 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 -pee. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Ah, the Rami! Wait, wait, Junior, is that you? Wow, you fat. What happened to you? Gordon Ramsay cooks delicious food every night, so I got really fat. Oh, wow. Sounds like a rich man's problem to have a good chef cook for you. Wait, are you homeless? Why are you living in a box? Well, wait, uh, I'm not homeless. Uh, I'm, I'm just, you know, outside chilling. Yep, I like the outside. Ants biting my butt, stuff like that. Dirt everywhere. Yep. My mansion, it has a heater, but uh, it's broken. You know, I like cold air. So I'm just chilling out here in the cold. 
<laughs> just waiting. Well, I was wondering if you could help me get Gordon Ramsay fired. Wait, 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 get Gordon Ramsay fired? Are you serious, Julia? Yeah, because he cooks really good food every night. I'm tired of being fat. I, I, I just, I, I want McDonald's. I want normal food sometimes. He won't stop cooking lobster tails. I thought you wanted lobster tails. You know the good food. Well, I thought I did, but now I just want you back. So can you help me get him fired, please? <sighs> Let me think about it. I got to mark some things out of my schedule. Hold on just a second. Yeah, oh. All right, I'm not doing anything. Okay, let's let's go get Gordon. All right, Junior, how do we get rid of Gordon? Junior, hurry up! Uh, hold on, I'm fat. <sighs> really? <sighs> hold on. <sighs> the stairs. <sighs> okay, how do we get Gordon Ramsay fired? Your dad would never fire him because he loves the food too much. Okay, how do we get Gordon Ramsay to quit? Do we just tell him his cooking sucks and he'll cry and run away? No, he's not gonna believe that. He actually has taste buds and he cooks good. Okay, um. Well, I know. What if you dress up like a chef that's more famous than him and tell him his cooking sucks? He'll have to believe you because you're more famous than him. Who's a, who's a chef more famous than him, though? Junior! Oh, hold on, Chef Baby. Hide, hide. Okay. Junior, here's some more lobster tails. Eat up. I don't want any more lobster tails, Gordon. Well, you better eat these lobster tails. Wait, wait real quick. What chef did you grow up loving? Hmm. Chef Boyardee. I loved his ravioli. All right, thank you for telling me. Now eat your lobster tails. I'll eat them. All right, Chef Baby, you have to dress up like Chef Boyardee and then tell him his cooking sucks. Okay, I can do that. All right. Junior's gonna love these last three lobster tails. Hey, it's me! Chef Boyardee! In the flesh! Well, what are you doing here? It's an honor! Well, they don't call me Chef Boy about a party for nothing. I'm on my way to a party right now. Oh, you must be starving. Would you like a lobster tail? Uh, uh, lobster tail? Uh, no, no, ew! Where is the canned ravioli? Uh, canned ravioli, sir? I, I, I'll get right on it. Well, you're not a chef unless you're cooking canned ravioli. Only the best chefs can cook out of that. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I was just making... The lobster tails. Well, that is not good enough. I need canned ravioli. Okay, well, I'll go get canned ravioli oh, right now. No, no, no. It's too late. You've already messed up. You're done. You, you should just quit at life. Oh, but, sir, I devoted my whole life to becoming a chef to be just like you. Your whole life? What a waste of a life. Oh, my God. If, if you're actually cooking this and not ravioli? Wow, you just wasted your whole life. Ugh. Get out of here. <gasps> I have failed, Chef Boyardee. Ah! <gasps> Chef, baby, you did it. You got rid of Gordon Ramsay. I know. I didn't think it would actually work, but he's gone. You look just like Chef Boyardee. He, he knew you without you introducing yourself. I know. I, I kind of I do look like him, right? So we can go back to eating your disgusting food now. Um, I kind of want to try these, these lobster tails first, okay? Uh, all right. I'm so glad I got you back, Chef Baby. I'm <laughs> gone. Careful, dude, careful. Uh, careful, dude, careful. Careful, dude, careful. Shut up, Joseph. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got it! Oh, dude, that was so close. I'm so glad we're playing Jenga. Yeah, money Jenga. All right, Richard, it's your turn. Mm, which piece do I want to go for? Oh, this one. Uh, okay, careful, uh, uh, careful. Uh, uh, careful. Uh, careful. Oh, oh, you lost. Yeah, you lost. Actually, it looks like I'm winning. All right, guys, so what game do you want to play now? How about hide and seek? Oh, oh let's play hide and seek. Yeah, I'm really good at hide and seek. Okay, okay, I'll be it. All right, Joseph, you and Richard hide, okay? Oh, okay, then. I'm going to count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, where are they at? All right, guys, I'm going to find you. Just where are you at? <laughs> Are you behind the teddy bear? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you inside that popcorn bucket? <sighs> no. <laughs> Joseph, you're there. Oh, dude, how did you find me? You wouldn't stop laughing. Oh, darn. I need to shut my mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. Now I gotta find Richard. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Richard? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cha ching Oh, I'm allergic to your poor air! Well, I got you, Richard. All right, Joseph, it's your turn! Oh, man! Okay, dude. Well, who's that? I don't know. Oh, hold on, let me see who it is. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey there! I'm here to pick up my son, Richard. Okay. Richard, your dad's here! Oh, thank God! Thanks for picking me up, Dad. It's so poor 
right here. My allergies were acting up. Oh, and by the way, Junior, I accidentally clogged your toilet. Sorry. But you clogged my toilet? Wait, you clogged this toilet? Yeah, I accidentally used too much money when I was wiping. Too much money when you were wiping? You know you're only supposed to use one bill at a time? Show me. All right, right this way. See, Dad? There it is. That is it, mister. You are grounded. Grounded for what? You know you're only supposed to use one bill when you wipe, and you're wiping like we have endless amounts of money. Which we do, but you need to learn the value of money. So I think you need to get a job. A job? You poor! Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get you a job, and I think you need to work at McDonald's. McDonald's? Ew! Poor people food! Now you get over here and let me smack those stupid AirPods out of your stupid head. Come here. Come on. Give me the other side. Come on. All right. You'll get those AirPods back when you've earned them. Now let's go to McDonald's. Welcome to your first day at McDonald's. How you feeling? Poor. Exactly. That's how we all feel until we start making $15 an hour, then we'd be lower middle class. Well, how much am I making now? $8.45 an hour. $845 an hour? That's not too bad. No, 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 my silly white boy. $8.45. Ew, poor. Exactly. Let me show you the food layout. See, we got hamburgers right here, nuggets there, french fries, lettuce, and tomatoes. See, all this stuff was already made yesterday, okay? We just leave it out to give it flavor. And this stuff right here is the stuff people return. See, we just keep passing out the window till somebody accepts it. Now let me show you how to make a burger. On a traditional burger, you got meat, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. See, I know that's a lot, but I got a song to help you remember. First you add the meat, then you add the cheese, don't forget the lettuce, then you add tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. You've got to be kidding me. No, 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 it's very catchy. Come on, sing it with me. First you add the meat, then you add the cheese, don't forget the lettuce, then you add tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. I'm not singing that poor song. Do you want to get paid? <sighs> yeah. Come on, sing it with me. First, First you add the meat, meat then, then you add the cheese. cheese. Don't, Don't forget, forget the lettuce, lettuce then, then you add tomatoes. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Yeah. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. White boy got real though. Somebody at the drive-thru. Okay, get ready to make a sandwich, and don't forget the song, all right? All right. Oh, uh, hello, I'm ready to order. <sighs> Another one. Don't be throwing bananas in my drive-thru. Uh, I'm ready to order. What you want? Uh, can I get, uh... You ready to order? Yeah. Can I get a 10-piece nugget, drop fresh, a large fry with no salt, also drop fresh, with salt packets in the bag, a plain cheeseburger, and an ice cream cone. Uh, ice cream machine, bro. Mm-hmm, of course it is. Well, then in that case, I'll just take Kool-Aid to drink. Man, we don't sell Kool-Aid. We only got high C. Oh, I can see that you high, because your ice cream machine always broke. Look, is that all you want, ma'am? Yeah. All right, your total is 1738 All right, you accept EBT? No. You accept Fool Styles? No. Hmm. Well, then can I get your discount? Look, it's my, it's my discount, ma'am. Look, look, can you please pull up for it so I we can get your food? I ain't pulling up for it. ain't nobody behind me. Oh my God! Look, look, I'll have your food in a minute, ma'am. And they want fifteen dollars an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you slam that window. All right, Rashad. What we have? My name's Richard. Listen, Rashad, I'm trying to teach you something. Look, what we have here is what we call a bad customer. You can tell from a mile away. It's a dead giveaway. You can tell by the by the color. The color of their car. Their car? Yeah, yeah, she was driving a red car. People who drive red cars are always mad. Something about the color red. But uh, do you know what we do to bad customers? What? <laughs> Ew, poor! Uh, yeah, exactly. Now she wanted a burger and some nuggets and fries dropped. So can you drop them on the ground and take 10 minutes doing it? She also wanted an ice cream cone, but uh, we always tell the customers that the ice cream machine is broken. To be honest with you, we don't even have an ice cream machine. I don't even know why it's on the menu. But uh, get to making her food, and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. What do I do again? Oh, oh yeah, the song. Uh, something about the meat. Then you grab some nuggets. How about some fries? Don't forget the tomatoes. Uh, ketchup, 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 ketchup. All right, I'm done. Let me see how you did. Boy, what, what is this? It's a cheeseburger. The song, boy, the song. I sing the song. You got a lot to learn. Let me just wrap this up and give it to her. Okay. What take you so long? 
Hey, what I told you about throwing bananas in my drive-thru? Look, look, here's your food, ma'am. My food hit the ground. I'm gonna need you to make me some more. Look, I'm not making another burger for you, lady. Well, I also had nuggets and fries. Look, just have a good day, okay? Let me speak to your manager. I the manager. I did well, let me speak to the owner. Look, if you want to talk to the owner, how about you call old McDonald himself? He live on the farm. E-I-E-I-O. Well, I do you one better. I'll call Mayor McCheese. Well, call Mayor McCheese then. Alright, this ain't the last you heard of me, and they want $15 out. Get out of my drive through lady. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. And I'm going to take my uncle down the two. <sighs> All right, Randy, I want you to work the drive through because I am scratched. How do I do that? Oh, it's super simple. They're going to pull up to the window. You say what real mean because it's inconvenient for you to take their order even though you work here. Now, they're going to give you their order. You make sure you get it wrong because we want them to come back. They're going to say they're not going to come back, but we're McDonald's. We got dollar burgers and we're open 24-7. So uh, go to the window and get to working. My name is Richard. Come on, Randy. Just go to the window. <sighs> okay. God. All right, work in the drive-thru. At least I don't have to touch that poor people food. Can I have some food? Ew, did you sneeze on the window? I'm hungry. Oh, you're hungry? Well, do you have money? No. Well, then what are you going to give me for food? Tomato. Ew, I don't want your poor tomato. We don't accept tomatoes here. I'm, I'm hungry. Well, shoot, get out of here. Shoot. Ew, poor. Ugh. Raymond, did I just see you spray Windex at one of our customers? Yeah, because he was poor. <sighs> Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. Look, all of our customers are poor. You just can't spray them with Windex, though. How about we have the perfect conversation you're supposed to have at the window? You be the driver, I'll be me. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. In my Lamborghini. Whatever. <sighs> what do you want? Why aren't you at Burger King? Why are you ordering here? Can I get a cheeseburger? A cheeseburger? <sighs> Windex is right down the street. All right, just pull up to the next window. See, it's that simple. See, now, you don't have to spray people with Windex, okay? Yeah, let's forget my order wrong. And you want $15 out. You know what, go, go, go ahead of the burgers, I got this. Did you just throw something at me? Uh-huh, I bought a tomato from a homeless man because I ran out of banana. What do you want from me, lady? I just want my order right because my booger had nuggets and fries on it. Ain't that what you wanted? No, I wanted it all separately. You know what, look, here's your tomato back. All right, scram, lady. Oh, and you want $15? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. $15 out. <sighs> All right, Ryan. I don't know how much longer I can work here. Me either. Look, I'm dreaming of bigger and better things. Right? Like working at Chick-fil-A. But see, the customers here, it's so annoying. And poor. That too. <sighs> oh, another one. Do you want and can you please stop honking your horn hey i stole my dad's car because he wouldn't bring me to get a happy meal cool 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 what do you want uh, can i get a cheeseburger happy meal with three toys oh uh, the happy meal only come with one toy well i want three toys you only getting one toy how about three toys it comes with one toy three toys one toy three Alright Robbie, we got another bad customer at the drive-thru. You know how I knew? Because of the color of the car? Exactly. The color of the car was red, so you know he's gonna be mean. And he wanted a Happy Meal with three toys. Look, this ain't Toys R Us, I'm not giving him all them toys. You know what we're gonna do to his food? We're gonna spit in the food? Bingo. You're learning, Robbie! Okay, so uh, fix the food and remember the song, okay? Okay. All right, the song. Uh, sometimes there's meat, bunch of bunch of cheese, lot of lot of lettuce, uh, a couple chicken nuggets, maybe a few tomatoes, um, ketchup, 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 maybe the whole thing. Uh, mustard, 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 mustard. Uh, okay, that looks good. All right, it's ready. Let me check the happy meal and see how you did. Wait, Rachel, you're not supposed to give them all the ketchup and mustard. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, let me get them a drink. Yeah. Here's your Happy Meal with the three toys. Oh, thank you. You're not welcome. Baby. Uh. All right, Rufus. I'm going to end your shift early today since it's your first day. What does that mean? That means you get to go home. Oh, thank God. Charge, come pick me up in the helicopter. All right, I'm going to get your check, and then you can go home, okay? How much money did I make? Well, you only worked for like 10 minutes, so uh, you made about 75 cents. Ew, poor. <laughs> welcome to the club. Oh, Dad, I'm back from work. Wait a minute. Ew, you 
smell poor. I know, but I got paid. Hold on, let me see that. 75 cents. Congratulations, you've made enough money to buy three gumballs. Oh, Dad, I have a confession to make. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to work at poor restaurants anymore. And, and I'll even wipe my butt with 20s. Listen, son, you don't have to wipe your butt with 20s. That would be a disgrace to the Goodman name. We only wipe our butts with hundreds. But the fact that you said that you would wipe your butt with 20s shows that you appreciate money now. So let's go home and get out of this weird poor person's house. Oh, thank you, Dad. I love you so much. I love you too, son. Let's go. Hey, Daddy. Can we have pizza for dinner? No, Jeffy. Why not? Jeffy, use your inside voice. This is my inside voice. No, it's not. You use your inside voice. Jeffy, I'm only yelling because you're yelling. I'm only yelling because you said we can't have pizza for dinner. Well, I'm the adult, so I make the rules. Well, your rules suck. Well, Jeffy, don't say the S word. The S word? Suck? Yeah. Oh, I thought the S word was yep. Chicago. And I hear they have good pizza there, and that's what I want for dinner. Well, well Jeffy, Chicago starts with a C, and you shouldn't say the C word either. Oh, I thought the C word was Kentucky. And they have fried chicken there, which is what I don't want for dinner. I want pizza. Well, well, Jeffy, Kentucky starts with a K. Oh, it starts with a K? I thought knife started with a K. Jeffy, that, that's pronounced knife. Um, no, it's pronounced knife. See, this is the word knife right here. See, it has a K right there. Well, Jeffy, it's pronounced knife. No, it's not. There's a K, so you pronounce it knife. Well, Jeffy, the K is silent. You, you want to know what's not silent? What? My inside voice, because I want pizza for dinner. Oh, Jeffy, look, I'm going to go in the kitchen and see if I can find pizza, okay? And if you don't find pizza, then you're going to hear more of my inside voice, because I want pizza. All right, Jeffy, I'll go find pizza. Good. I'm going to go talk to Junior. Tell him we're having pizza for dinner. <sighs> okay, I'm finally done inflating my big inflatable airplane. I'm so lightheaded. Hey, Junior, guess what we're having for dinner? Because of me. What? Pizza. Oh, yeah, I love pizza. We're having pizza for dinner because of Jeffy. How'd you get that to happen? Well, Junior, I used my manners. I walked up to my daddy and I said, Father, may we please have pizza for supper? And he said, No, Jeffy. And I said, Catch these hands. Hold my weed, Daddy. And so we started throwing hands. And long story short, we're having pizza for dinner. Oh, my God, I love pizza. Well, you want to go throw this big inflatable airplane around? Yep. Alright, let's go do it! <laughs> What's up, Mario? Oh, hey, Bowser. What'd you get to eat? Homemade cheeseburger and fries. Chef Pee Pee went all out. Oh, well, I'm gonna see if Chef Pee Pee can make me some pizza. Oh, cool. Hey, quick question. Are you still jealous about my first place Mario Kart trophy? No, I'm not jealous about it, Bowser. That was years ago. Yeah, you're still jealous. <laughs> it's a prized possession. Maybe one day you'll get a first place trophy. I have plenty of those. Yeah, not this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to my room. <laughs> All right, Junior, you ready to send it? Yep, runway 69 is ready for landing. 69er, prepare for boat device to be satisfied. Oh no, my dad's trophy! Houston, we have a problem. What? That's space, Jeffy, not airlines. Boop, boop, pull up. Boop, boop, pull up. Yeah, that's airlines. <laughs> Oh no, my dad loved this trophy. Obviously not, because he had it sitting on an airport runway. Yeah, we were cleared for landing. It was kind of irresponsible. What was that noise? That sounds like my trophy. Uh, Rod, Jeffy, my dad's coming. What was that noise? <laughs> my trophy. Who would do such a thing? What was that noise? Oh, uh, you. I knew you were jealous of my trophy. I didn't do this. Then who did? Someone probably threw that big inflatable airplane at it. Yeah, you, because you were jealous. Well, no, I don't even know where to get a big inflatable airplane like that at. I don't even know where that came from. Probably online. You probably went to Amazon Prime and, and had it shipped here. I don't know if you have a membership or not. Well, look, I, I did not do that. I don't know what happened. Then who did? Well, Okay, well, maybe someone broke into the house and threw that plane at your trophy. Broke into the house, brought an inflatable plane, and threw it at my trophy? Yeah, maybe they were trying to distract you so they could steal your TV or something. Distract me for my TV? Wait, that does sound realistic. You know what? I have to put up some cameras because this, this world is getting dangerous. Oh, no, 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 Bowser, obviously I'm lying. Maybe one of our kids threw it. No one broke in the house and threw a plane at your trophy. Look, look, look. Somebody's trying to steal my TV. I got to get some cameras now, Mario. Oh, what, what? Look, I'm going to tell my son to stay inside for the rest of his life. You do the same for your son, okay? Because this world is too dangerous. Oh, oh. Unless you just want to admit that you broke it. What? I, I did not break it. I'm going to go tell my son to stay inside forever, too. Hmm. 
Exactly. Oh man, Jeffy, I can't believe we broke my dad's trophy. Do you think he noticed? No. Junior! Yes. Uh, Junior! Oh, uh, uh, don't forget to use your manners, Junior. What is the matter, Father? Look, Junior, I want you to stay in the house for the rest of your life. But why? Because somebody broke in and threw an inflatable plane and broke my trophy. Uh, well, what if hypothetically me and Jeffy did it? Oh, I would just send you back to military school. Well, we definitely didn't do that, did we, Jeff? We didn't do that. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Look, Junior, it's a dangerous world out there. I just don't want you to go outside ever again. I'm going to tell Chef Pee, Pee to let me know if you ever do so you can go to military school, okay? Well, that sucks. Hey, hey, hey. Don't use the S word. You know what? Stand in the corner. <sighs> yes, sir. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Jeffy, I need to talk to you. What is the matter, father? You're not allowed to go outside ever again. That's fair. But while we're making up these BS rules, you're not allowed to talk ever again. Jeffy, I'm being serious. Me too, stop talking. Jeffy, I can talk. Shut up. Jeffy, I am day, allowed. Day, hush. I'm allowed to talk. Shut up. Jeffy, I can talk. No, you're not. Stop talking. Well, then you're not allowed to talk. Okay, Jeffy, we can talk. Dang, shut your mouth. Jeffy, I can talk. Stop talking! Okay, then you can't go outside. Okay, that's fine, so shut up. Okay, good, we, we, we got it. Stop talking, Dad, I don't understand why you keep talking. Oh, we have an agreement. Shut your mouth. Just don't go outside. Hush. <sighs> there, the security camera set up. Now we'll know if anyone's trying to break in and steal my television. I don't think anybody wants your television, Bowser. Oh, I know they do. I want to watch my Charlie, though. They can have it. <laughs> hey, Junior, how long are you in your corner for? I don't know. Hmm. Well, why don't you just leave? I can't. Sure you can. All you gotta do is just get up and walk away. Hey, uh, hey, Junior? What? Joe Shep huh, is calling. Joseph's calling? Okay, I have to answer. I have to leave the corner and answer it. Mm -hmm. Uh, hello? What's up, dude? What's up, Joseph? Say what's up, Jeffy. Shep. Dude, hurry up and get to the playground. Underneath this slide, I got tacos and chalupas. What? Tacos and chalupas? I love tacos and chalupas. I'll be right there. <sighs> What, dude? I'm not allowed to go, Joseph. Wait, why? My dad said I'm never allowed to leave the house again. Dude, just sneak out or something. Uh, okay, look, Joseph, I'm gonna go ask my dad for permission, and if he says yes, I'll come. Dude, hurry up. The tacos and chalupas are gonna get cold. Okay, I'll be there no matter what. I'll be there soon. All right, Jeff, you have to sneak out the house. I can't go, Junior. Wh why not? Because I made a deal with my daddy that I won't leave the house if he doesn't talk anymore, and that's a pretty sick deal. But, like, come on. It's, choco it's tacos and chalupas. Hmm. But it's also my daddy not talking anymore because his voice is annoying. But it's tacos and chalupas under the slide. Hmm. All right, let's do it, Junior. All right, let's go. Let's sneak out. Oh, man, Jeffy, I can't believe we're sneaking out. I know. Our parents are so stupid. I know. They actually think that we're going to listen to them and not sneak out of the house. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, nothing. All right, all right let's go be Joseph. All right. What's up, Joseph? What's up, dudes? Oh, you were able to sneak out the house? Well, our parents said no. But we said yes. Oh, oh, oh that's sick. We'll help you something some tacos and chalupa. Man, Joseph, that's a lot of Taco Bell. I know. My cousin works in the drive-thru, so you know I'm hooked up. My butt hole's about to be on fire tonight. Oh, do you have any hot or mild sauce? Oh, bro, I have some fire sauce. I'm about to poop all over the toilet seat tonight. Yeah! But I was going to do that anyway. Oh, man, I can't wait to poop in the bushes. I can't wait to clog the toilet and make sure it be clean. <laughs> Let's eat all these tacos. Yeah, dude, tacos. <laughs> oh, man, Joseph, these tacos taste amazing. Yeah, these tacos taste pee-pee. Well, I don't want to eat it if it tastes pee-pee. <laughs> Get it, guys, because it's pee-pee? Well, speaking of pee-pee, Chef Pee-pee's calling me. Oh, everyone, be quiet. I have to answer the phone. Okay, dude. Uh, hello? Oh, these are good tacos. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Junior, where are you? Uh, I'm in my room. In your room, huh? Yeah, I'm in my, I'm in my room, just laying in bed. Stop lying to you. I know you're not in your room. I'm in there right now. Well, are you sure you're checking the right room? I'm in the room right now, Junior. Uh, uh, well, uh, I'm sorry I lied. I'm on the roof. What? what, what? You, you know you're not supposed to leave the house, Junior. Well, your dad said you can't leave the house, so get back inside. Oh, okay, I'll be back in like 30 minutes. Look, you have 10 seconds to get back in this house, or I'm going to tell your daddy. <gasps> <laughs> Joseph, oh, we gotta go. Jeffy, come on, go, 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 go. Oh, okay, dude. Okay, Jeffy, we have to get inside before my dad notices. I can't believe all this is happening just because we broke my dad's trophy. What are you waving at? Ah! What 
Is that, is that a security camera? I think so. Oh no, Jeffy, we have to break that. My dad cannot hear what we just said. I'm on it, Junior. Yeah, break it. All right, Jeffy, I need you to break that security camera. All right, Junior, I'm gonna use my Fortnite pickaxe. All right, break it. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I think it's broken. Yeah. All right, good work, Jeffy. Now let's get inside. All right. All right, Jeffy, we made it back inside the house and we didn't get caught. Junior, we were too smooth. There's no way we're going to get caught. Well, well, well. Uh, Junior, where were you? Uh, me and Jeffy were playing hide and seek in the attic, which is still inside the house, so we didn't, we didn't go outside. Oh, really? Well, Chef PP showed me this video, and I am disappointed. Oh, man, Jeffy, I can't believe we're sneaking out. Uh, I know, our parents are so stupid. Stupid, I think, huh? I think we're going to listen to them and not sneak out of the house. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, nothing. All right. Okay. You were waving at the camera? Uh -huh. Okay, Jeffy. We have to get inside before my dad notices. I can't believe all this is happening just because we broke my dad's trophy. Uh, what are you waving at? Ah! What is that? Is that a security camera? I think uh, so. Oh, no. Jeffy. Dad. Break that. Dad, 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 that's not me. Just... No, no. Shush. I want to hear it. Yeah, break it. All right, Jeffy. I need you to break that security camera. All right, Junior. I'm going to use my Fortnite pickaxe. All right, break it. All right, here we go. The pickaxe, huh? Yeah. Nice. Uh, Junior, you know you're grounded, right? And you're going to military school. But no, Dad, that wasn't us. That was someone trying to frame us. Oh, don't lie to me, Junior. Uh, don't lie to me. You broke my trophy, and then you're going to break my camera, too? Well, I mean, uh, Tyler, no, I don't want to hear it. Technically, I didn't break the trophy. Jeffy did. Way to throw me under the bus, Junior. You know what, Junior? I'm just so mad. Go and stand in that corner right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And while you're standing in the corner, I'm going to get the number for the military school. I'm sorry you're standing in the corner, Junior. Uh, what's going on in here? Junior broke my trophy. But he broke your trophy? Excellent. <laughs> um, Danny, I don't think my friend getting in trouble is worth this hundred bucks, so you can have it back. Well, Jeffy, stick to the plan. Wait, what plan? You better tell him the truth, Danny, before I do. Uh, 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 Jeffy doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, Jeffy needs to shut up. I, 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 you I, need to tell him, uh, Danny. Uh, 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 Tell me what? Okay, fine, Bowser. I was jealous of your trophy. Wait, you were? I, I knew you were. And, and and I'm the one who broke your trophy. Wait, you broke it? I thought Junior broke it. No, I framed him. I made it look like your son did it. See, the truth is, I sent uh, an inflatable airplane to your son in the mail, and I knew he was going to invite Jeffy to play with him. And then when Jeffy had the airplane, I, I paid him $100 to throw it at your trophy. And then when the trophy hit the ground, it didn't break, so I took a hammer to it. I, I'm a fraud. I, I'm jealous of your trophy, and I can't pay my house payment, but I'm somehow slipping Jeffy $100 bills. How am I doing that? Yeah, so I was jealous of your trophy, and I just didn't want you to know. Well, I'm just glad you admitted it. <laughs> You were jealous, you were jealous. I'm forever number one, so it doesn't matter if it's broken or not. <laughs> guys, am I still grounded or? Guys? Hey, fat boy, you wanna fight? Yeah. You wanna fight? Okay. You wanna fight? What? Hey, fat boy, you wanna fight? All right. You wanna fight? Let's fight. You wanna fight? Good night. Hey, fat boy, you wanna fight? Come out. You wanna fight? All right, class. Today, we're gonna be learning about the human body. You should already know about the human body because we are all humans, including me. Oh, and I almost forgot. I got me brand new prescription glasses. Because my eyes are so threat, I can't see anything. So for the first time, I'm gonna be able to see your little human faces. I am so confused. Why am I teaching a crash for the turtles? I have a PhD in Kakarot. I should be teaching humans. All of you, get out of my classroom if you're not a human. I only teach humans. What? This isn't fair. Dude, this is discrimination. Well, I mean, guys, at least we don't have to go to school anymore. Oh, yeah, that is cool, dude. I hate school. Well, I don't even know if I count as a turtle. But you do, Cody. You're a magic Koopa, so you're a turtle. Oh, well, we still need an education. Otherwise, we'll just end up in a zoo. I, I mean, well, I mean, I guess Jeffy's the only one that gets to stay because he's a human. Um, it's 2019. I identify as a turtle. I guess we all have to leave then, guys. My parents are gonna flip. Well, I guess we're out of here forever, dude. Yeah, let's all go. Hmm. That's right, Crash. You get out of here. You don't come back unless you're a human. Only humans are around in this crash. Dad, Dad, Dad! What do you want, 
Junior! Oh, uh, well, uh, I got kicked out of school today. You what? Yeah, I, I got kicked out of school. Well, that's awesome! That's great! I knew you had it in you, son. What did you do? Did you get your teacher a wedgie? Did you knock out a little nerd? What, no, I, I, I got kicked out because I'm a turtle. Wait, wait, what? Apparently, you can only go to school if you're a human. Wait, that, that's stupid, Junior. Look, I got kicked out of school in third grade, so I guess it's like father like son. <laughs> uh, I mean, as long as you're not mad, then I'm happy I hate school. Oh, I hated it too. That was stupid. Look, yeah. Books. What, uh, books. Uh, wait, there's someone at the door, Dad. Well, go get it, idiot. Oh, oh okay. Go and answer the door. Uh, hello? Hello there. May I speak to your father, please? Uh, yeah. Dad, there's somebody at the door in a suit. He wants to talk to you. Hello? Am I getting arrested? Look, she told me she was 18. Actually, it's been brought to my attention that my bank approved you for a home loan, and you're not a human. Wait, wait, is that a problem? Actually, it is, because since you're a turtle and not a human, you don't have a social security number, and we do not give loans to turtles. So in the short way, get out. Wait, what? Where am I supposed to live? Yeah. You can go live at a pet store. Wait, we can't live at a pet store? Sure you can, and you have one hour to get out of this house, or else I'm calling animal control. Wait, You're this not. is discrimination! Come on! Dad, we have to get out? I don't know. I'm worried, Junior. What are we gonna do? <laughs> oh, Chef Pee I got terrible news. What, that I'm still alive? Well, yeah, but, but also, we're getting kicked out of the house. Wait, what for? Well, apparently, since Dad's not a human, he can't own a house, so now we're gonna be homeless. Wait. If we're going to be homeless, that means I don't have to work for you guys anymore. I don't even have to be bothered with you anymore, Junior. Oh, this is amazing news. Oh, what a wonderful day. I'm going to pack my stuff right now. <laughs> wait, no, Chef, if you don't leave us. What? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Who's at the door? Uh, hello? Hey, Junior. My parents are mad. Uh, okay. Well, Cody here told us that you boys got kicked out of school for being turtles. Yeah, they said we're not allowed to go to school unless we're humans. Now, that just pees me off. You see, me and my baby here, we've been dealing with discrimination our whole life. Yeah, people just have a problem with me being black. Mm-hmm. Well, she identifies as black. Yeah, well, you see, my great-great-great-grandfather knew a black man. So, technically, I'm a brother. Mm-hmm. She got that generational N-word passed. Straight up. Uh, 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 all right. My, my parents are stupid, Junior. All right, so, so what are y'all doing here? Well, we wanted to have a parent-teacher conference here inside your house. Wait, why inside my house? Oh, our house dirty. Yeah, it's the trap house. There's mouse traps everywhere. I don't want your teacher to step on them. Uh, all right, I guess y'all can come inside. Okay. So, uh, when's the teacher going to be here? Oh, he should be here soon. We called him on the payphone. Sure did. We don't use cell phones. The government be listening. It's true. This one time, I was on Facebook, and me and my husband were talking about bicycles, and then I saw a whole bunch of ads for bicycles. Now you explain that, Mark Zuckerberg. Mm-hmm. Cody, what's going to happen when the teacher gets here? Oh, well, they want to try to convince him to let us go back to school. Well, I don't care about going back to school. Well, you boys need an education. Yeah, you don't want to end up like Judith here. I'm dumb as a brick. Yeah, it's all right, though. She my baby. She well, dumb. Uh, 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 hold on. There's, there's someone at the door. It must be him. Uh, hello? Oh, uh, why am I at Turtle House? Uh, uh, because these parents want to talk to you about something. Okay. All right, the teacher's here. I heard you wanted a parent-teacher conference. Oh my, what a good-looking Asian man. What was your name? My name is Jackie Chu. Bless you. Yeah, he need a tissue, baby. Now we want you to let our boys back into school. I sorry, ma'am. I no can't do that. Your boy a turtle. I can only teach humans. Tyrone, get the peace offering. All right, baby. Yeah, here you go. We offer you this, the food of your culture. Mom! Oh, yummy cat. Tabby, my favorite. So are you going to let our boys back into school now? No, ma'am. I no accept bribery, no matter how rare the delicacy. All right, listen here, Yao Ming. Don't get short with me. We just want you to give our boys an education. Well, I can't do that. They have to be human in order for me to teach them. All right, Ching Chong. Listen here. Just because you think you can open up cheap buffets, cook our pets... Dad, 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 dad just shut up. Everybody, p please just shut up. Uh, Mom, Dad, just, just go home. I have this. Oh, Cody, you're such a big boy. All right, Tyrone, let's bounce. All right, baby. Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. What my parents were so rudely trying to say is they wanted you to let us back into school. Well, no can do, Cody, because you are turtle. I can only teach humans, okay? Well, I mean, Cody, I don't really care about going back to school anyway. School's dumb. Well, Junior, we need an education, and we're going back to school. Well, we have to become humans to do that. I'm going to figure out a way to fix this. You, you just get Joseph over here. All right. 
So, dude, why did you want me to come over? Because Cody said he's going to try to help us go back to school or something. Dude, I don't care about school. I like to stay home. I know, me too. I play video games. Oh, I love video games. All right, guys, look what I made. Whoa, Cody, what's that? These are turn into human potions. What? what? Turn into human potions? What do they do? Well, they turn you into a human, Junior. What? So if I drink this, I'll turn into a human? Uh-huh, and we can use these to go back to school. Dude, I'm not going to drink this. Dude, I love to stay home. I don't want to go to school anymore. But, Joseph, if you turn into a human, you might get adopted and have a family. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll drink it. Cody, uh, how'd you make this? Well, have you ever seen the movie Emperor's New Groove? Yeah. Well, you know when he drinks the llama potion and turns into a llama? Uh-huh. Well, it's pretty much just that, but with people. Oh. All right, well then, uh, who wants to drink it first? Oh, not me. I haven't even tested these. I don't know what it'll do. Uh, uh Joseph, you want to do it? No, dude, I'm not going to drink it first. <sighs> All right, guys, I guess, I guess I'll drink it first. Um, uh, Cody, can you give me a cup and a straw? What? Yeah, a cup and a straw. I want to drink it out of a cup and a straw. W why don't you just drink it out of the tube? Be because the, 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 it looks weird. I just want to drink it out of a cup, you know, and a straw. I like straws. Bendy straws. What? Okay, fine. I'll go get cups and straws. Yeah. Bendy straws. All right, Junior. I got you your glasses and your straws. Are you happy now? Yeah, it looks a lot better now, Cody. Oh, man, guys. I'm really nervous. I guess I'll still be the first one to drink it and turn into a human. I'll see you guys on the other side. <laughs> what, what, guys, did it work? Uh, yeah. Dude, you look so cool. What, I do? Yeah, you even have your horns, dude. What, I still do? Yeah. Yeah, my God, Junior, I can't believe the potion actually worked. I feel so cool. I, I mean, I really look like a human? Yeah. Oh, well, dude, it's my turn. Me, me. I'm next, I'm next. <sighs> okay, guys, how do I look? Joseph, you, you look so cool. Oh, dude, I'm black. I knew it! And, and your braces! Oh man, dude, look at my shirt! Doesn't it look awesome? It's a basketball shirt! That's so cool! Oh man! Okay, okay my turn, my turn. Oh, Cody, how do you think it looks like as a human? Uh, I think I'm gonna look like a sexy god with an eight pack! Oh, oh alright, we'll, we'll, we'll do it, Cody. Here I go. <laughs> well, well, guys, how do I look? <laughs> You like a nerd. Oh my god, it's so funny. It's ugly. Oh, it's oh, horrible. Yeah. Uh, Cody, you uh, you look cool. Cool? Well, I feel amazing. I feel hunky. Wait, wait, wait is that hair? Do I have hair now? <laughs> oh my god, I have hair. I can whip it around. Uh, 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 uh. And I can style it however I want. If I want it to the right, I can go like this. Or if I want it to the left, I can go like this. Or I could do it in the back. Or if I'm feeling moody, I could do it up front. Ugh. Oh my god, this is amazing. I should be a model. Yeah, well, don't don't get too full of yourself, Cody. Oh, okay. Well, now we're humans, guys. We can go back to school. Yeah, let's do it, dude. Yeah, they, they can't say anything. Right? Yeah. Um, well, actually, um, I'm, I'm about to get kicked out of my house. What, really? Yeah, the bank says that my, my dad can't get a loan from them because he's a turtle. So, can we turn him into a human, too? Oh, yeah, we have plenty of potion left. Just go bring him a glass. Uh, all right, I'll take him this one right here. Uh. <laughs> I guess I got a pack. Because we're going to be homeless. <laughs> dad, dad, dad. Wait, wait, who are you? What, it, it, it's me, dad. Wait, no, I only have one son and you're not him. Look, if you want child support, you're out of luck. Wait, no, 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 dad, I turned into a human. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, look, look, all you have to do is drink this drink and you're turned into a human and we get to keep the house. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, Cosby didn't make this, did he? No, no, Cody did. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's wrong, Junior? Am I human? Uh, yeah, I just, you're terrifying. Awesome! <laughs> Do we get to keep the house now? Uh, I mean, yeah, you're a human, so we get to keep the house. Yeah, that's so great! Oh, I'm gonna unpack right now. I'm going, Dad. Oh, man. Guys, guys, my dad's a human now. Ooh, what's he look like? Hey, guys, I'm a human now. Jesus Christ. Ah, I'm out of here, dude. What's his problem? You're just really terrifying, Dad. Oh, that's understandable. So, Cody, we should go show Shaggy people what we look like. Okay, yeah. Let's go. Woohoo! I'm so excited that I get to leave this stupid house. Oh, goodbye, stove. Oh, goodbye, microwave. Oh, blender, I can't forget about you. Goodbye. Oh, and you, spatula. Goodbye. Oh, oh girl. Oh, and now all I have to do is pack my one shirt and get out of here. <laughs> Chef Baby! Ah, who are you? What, it's me, Junior. Wait, Junior? Why do you look like that? Well, Cody, Sup? he made a human potion and we drank it. So now we're both human. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys are the ugliest humans I've ever seen. But, but not me though, right? I'm hot. 
No, especially you. Well, Chef Vivi, now that we're humans, we get to go back to school. Oh, really? Yeah, and Dad's a human, so now we don't have to move out of the house. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, so get back to cooking, Chef Vivi, because we're here to stay. Oh, well, please tell me this is a lie. Come on, God, please tell me they're lying. No, no, so uh, go back to cooking, Chef Vivi. I want some mac and cheese. All right, Cody, I'll see you at school tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow, Junior. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> Why? Why? All right, human crass. Today, we're going to be learning about the turtle body. And you should already know about the turtle body because you all used to be turtles. You know, guys, instead of turning into humans, we could have just broke his glasses. Yeah. Yeah, that probably would have been easier. Oh, well, we're humans now, so whatever.